Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Veldak, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so where were we? Uh, I just found two actual planets. Qatar and Orchard. Let's see. Qatar is... Cryonite, we're not interested. It's also far away and close to the sun. And the other one was Orchard, right? Why am, why am I pressing the, the start button to bring up the... Okay. Orchard. Let's see. Uh, 9k radius copper. And kind of close. Really close, actually. Like, um, closer to go straight there than to go via Phonestra. It's got 33% biters on it. That would be really enticing if we didn't already have, uh, Muir. I doubt we're ever going to need more than our very, very nearby neighbor. 8.8k radius planet for copper. Just came to say hello, be back later. Alright, thanks for dropping by. And uh, what should we focus on next? Oh, I remember. I was even thinking of doing a little bit of this off stream. Uh, but I didn't have the time. The, um... Uh, our little build for making ingots, well, specifically, um, let me just get in the spaceship so I'm not wasting life support. Um, our little build for making iridium ingots turned out to be a waste of time, because the only ingot type that we can, well, not counting nacrotite, Nacrotite and Iridium are the only ingots that we can directly benefit from productivity modules with. Excuse me, let me try and clear my throat. Oh, I need to start doing some vocal exercises or something. Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, yeah, this build is bunk. Um, even though... You know what? I shouldn't be that worried about losing a little bit of Pyroflux. But I kind of want to conserve it where I can. Alright, let's get our construction train. Actually, it doesn't even need to be the construction train. Let's get our deconstruction train over here. And I'm going to pick up those pieces of pipe that have pyroflux in them one at a time. So it'll all get pushed back into the big containers. We won't waste a drop. I think I'll just remove the tile ghosts and we can get rid of all the steam pipes. No problem at all. Just keep removing the pyroflux pipes in order, and literally not a drop will be wasted. Wait, is that pyroflux? It is. It's oddly relaxing. Yeah, not such an onerous task. 
Uh, you know, there's no reason for me to go out of my way to remove the steam pipes first. Actually, maybe there is. Because once we stop just going vertically, it'll reduce the complexity. And thus reduce the odds of mistakes. Whoop! No, no, no. Okay, okay, we're fine. It's fine. This is fine. Cool. Uh, so then we just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, and so on. And that's it. Now, I dare say I will keep this layout for the drop-off to make uh, iridium ingots. That's, um... That doesn't seem like a stretch. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Um, and we'll get rid of all of this. Uh, how big are the advanced? Ooh, they're the same. They're the same size. Okay, this might be easier than I thought, or the pipes might be more of a headache than expected. Uh, let's find out. I guess I can't put it on spaceship floor. Um, can I just... I can't remove floor this way. I could use like one of the floor tools over here to just paste a bunch of it, but I don't want to get rid of the checkerboard pattern. Um, how about... A decon planner for spaceship floor, for starters. There we go. And then... I'm not just thinking... Can I get away with putting these in exactly the same spot and leaving the pipes? Which I probably should have considered beforehand, but I was really expecting to have to move these around. Um, but can I even fit... Hmm, probably not. If there's both fluid input and output... Oh, wait, maybe? Hmm, it's actually really annoying that this... This is off center from the advanced furnace because I can't really fit the inserters and pipes as well as have the pyroflux go to where it needs to go. I mean I could move this up one tile and move like one of these down here but then where's the steam gonna go? Hmm. Tell you what get rid of everything on the left side more or less we'll keep the right side the way it is just in case we want to refer to it again um, and get rid of the flooring as well that's actually... Well, instead of getting rid of it, let me just put black reinforced plate... Hold on. If I if I put this here, and then remove it... Okay, cool. Black reinforced plate everywhere. And now we have kind of a clean slate with the same beacon layout.
So, what's the best way we can fit these together? I'm thinking... Well, let's pretend the fluids aren't a problem for a minute. We've got two tiles of beacon touching this here. Yeah, I remember actually how difficult it was to fit this together. It's only going to need one solid in, one solid out. So maybe... Maybe just something like this. If we have the pyroflux down the middle. Can we fit... Well, we could do one or the other, but um, can we fit one fluid like this? Let's see. This one would have to be a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One solid in and one solid out. Someone say sushi belt. Actually, that might not be the worst idea. This is a very slow build in terms of resource consumption. Um, let's say let's say we do it this way. We <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Uh, I just realized we only do have the one belt for bo for IO over here. Hmm. Hmm. How much does it use for the entire... 4.3 per second on one side, 30 per second on the other side. I think even when this is uh, max tier modules... It's probably going to be fine. Okay, so we need some nines. And... Two, 22 megawatt. Yikes. Okay, um, speed modules, and we need a handful of efficiencies. Plus 1900%. So two of these would give it, uh, plus 500? Wait, what? Plus 500. It lost 1400%? I thought the efficiency was... Distribution efficiency, 0. 0.5, 50%. Oh, it's like the total of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone I swap is, like, negative 1,400%. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, and that is negative 80%. Or we could go slightly faster and pay plus 500% power. I think I know the answer here. I think I know what I want to do. Okay, so if we had... Uh, 24 of these... We'd be looking at 115.2 on one side of the belt. If I were to do a really, really simple sushi thing where we just use one side or the other. Uh, but that's obviously not going to cut it. Uh, the problem though is... Even a purple belt is only 90 per second. And I do want to put tier 9s and things eventually. Hmm. The fluid's not a problem at all. That's good. Uh, I think I can f squeeze this over one more tile, actually. Well, wouldn't that mean... Yeah, yeah, no. Problem. I do want to design it for tier 9. I don't want to have to redesign this again later on. A sushi for each pair slash side? Hmm. 
12 machines. 57.6 per second, plus 11.5. Uh, is less than one belt. Except, well, I guess we could have half the machines output to one side of the belt and half of the machines output to the other side. Or I could just... What, what would we get from 24, 48 of these? Wow, 40... 46 iridium ingots per second. I think that's maybe all we're ever going to need. Okay, I kind of want to design it that way. You know what? Get rid of the tier 3 modules for now. We're just going to build this with tier 9s. And swap in the tier 3s. Uh, in the meantime, that's backward, isn't it? No, it isn't. Verzor, welcome in. Holby Cheesa, welcome. Cheese, welcome also. I make three per second and can never use it all. Indeed. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm definitely making more than that and having shortages sometimes. Um... Wait, we don't need sushi for this. What if... 28 per second for each column? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... What if... Hypothetically... We don't really need a purple belt, but I'm just skipping everything between blue and purple. Well, which is to say green. Just so it's like one less set of items to carry around. Um, well, let's just do some purple belt like this. And we're going to say... On the inside of the belt is going to be last cake. Why does cake bring up cargo <laughs> cargo rocket silo? I guess it's removing the G-O-R-O-C. Cake. Uh, Iridium blast cake on the input side. And we take our inputs... Hmm. I could put the outputs like this, maybe? Uh, except I wanted to... How, would, how am I going to do the... I, I know how I could do it. But what I'm wondering is the most elegant way to take only the ingots forward from here. And not have a single bit of blast cake sitting on the belt that'll never ever get consumed. You mean 48 ingots or 48 of the plates? Uh, no, if I made an entire block like this with tier 9 modules, uh, it would be 6, 12, 24, 48 times this, which is 46.080 iridium ingots per second. So I dare, I dare say we can probably make all the ingots, iridium ingots, that we ever want in one block. Eventually. Probably. I could make it, like, recycle. What if... What if this went back up here?
What if it did? Oh. Give me some purple underground. Okay, how much does all of this need? A hundred... A hundred per second, never mind. This side was 57 per second, that's still too much. Alright, scrap that idea. Still using up T3, trying to build my Vitamange, finally. You need so much of it with this version. <laughs> like, such an obscene amount. Dang, that's a bunch? Yes it is. Um, maybe I should just not obsess quite so much over having a few extra on the belt. I wish we could have filters for loaders, actually. Like, for out for input to something. Hmm... Oh, I could yeah, I think I'll I think I'll be happy enough with this. Okay, so input at those ends, and then purple belt like this. Purple belt like that. Uh like that. Swap it around like so. Not like that. Why is... Oh, right. Okay, so this one's left, this one's right. Eek. So it's the right side facing from the north. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, and then we just need the Pyroflux, right? Why, why is my inventory this full? Oh no, I can't even make a... Make a box to get rid of it all. Remove everything. Okay. Now then. Uh, cheat in some Pyroflux. We've already got power, fantastic. And yeah, simple as that. This is how we only need one belt. Uh, where do I fit this? Wait, what? Oh, here we go. And, like, so. Please tell me I can fit this here. I can. Perfection. I could put an underground there. Just so that these are all consistent. Get rid of all these blue belts. Good grief, it is a bit toasty today. Um, yeah, I think I will build for the entire block. I don't want to have to come back to this. Except to upgrade modules. Leave that one. Actually, no, that's fine. What? Okay. Uh, 
let's just put this up here actually and figure out how we're going to connect to it. Seems fairly obvious. Uh, and then we just need to get some half belts. Symmetry OCD, indeed. I am playing Factorio. Okay, so this would... Why, why does that not... Superior underground belt is in the way. Oh, I see what you did there. Wait, what? Okay, it's fine. This is fine. So how much, again, do we get? Uh, we get like 45 out of the the entire double block, right? And... I'm gonna need... Is there, a, like, a better way to get half belts than something like this? Something clever with splitters or something? I don't think so. Like, I want to get one half belt to go this way, one half belt to go this way. I wonder if... There's some clever pattern I can use. It looks cool. This is very important. Shut up, it is. Okay, so we have a full belt. And... That's gonna just put stuff on both sides. What I'm trying to avoid is, like, sort of useless pieces of belt that have to exist. Um, but I don't really think this is possible. I can't, like... Split and merge, like, that doesn't do anything, does it? No. Like, if we, if we put two different items on the belt, we get a nice pattern of iron on this side, sand on this side. I can't remember the pattern that I'm trying to think of that I've seen from playing around with sushi belts. Oh, it's probably just this. Um, this can be iron, and this can be sand. And that's weird. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> what? That is very much not what I was expecting. And the... What, Okay, now we just have iron going left and sand going right with the exact same inputs? Lol? What? 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 What the? That's so strange. That's so weird. Splitters are non-deterministic? They are deterministic, but I, I think it's a matter of timing. Weird and only stable because it's full belts, indeed. Below the splitter there, put... Uh, hold on. Uh, Glacier Wolf, Sir GMO, Budgie Bum. Welcome in, good to see you again. Kurix, welcome also... What did I miss in chat? Um, how do you get half the belt of coal for a classic furnace stack? 
you mean this design? Where you have like like this thing? Don't have an underground. I wish the editor would recognize that just just spawn an underground if it's not in my inventory. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm I'm only looking for a half belt of one thing and a half belt of nothing. I'm just looking for like a more elegant way to do it. Below the splitter, put, splitter put there, put three belts going left to right. And the same above. And there's half a... Tick timing, dark splitter magic. <laughs> Sadly inconsistent behavior, indeed. I think filter loaders can also place things on each side of the belt. Hmm. Like, this is... This is all just aesthetic. Um, this is very, very easy to do here. But... I was just hoping to do it a little bit neater than usual. Alright, fine. We'll just do it like this. Take. And over here. Um, and this will... Oh, that actually allows us to fit this over here cozily. Uh, can I put a splitter here, or is that too much? It is 72 blast cake per second, so that's fine, actually. Perfect. Train stop's going to be in the way if I do this here. Um, I wonder if I should do this up here instead. No, that's fine. Uh, I should probably... Feed this from both sides. Could maybe do it like this. N wait, what? Oh, there's still items just left over there. Uh, and I forgot this splitter. That looks okay. And then down here... Maybe I should put, like, a corner here. That wouldn't look too bad, would it? Yeah, I think that's okay. Seems good. And then we need to bring our... I'm going to think of it. If this side only produces 23.6 per second, uh, doesn't that mean that we can just do it like... No. No, it does not. I think this one's on the wrong side, actually. Whoops. It, it is on the wrong side. Someone probably pointed that out. Removed splitter between row 2 and 3. Yeah, it's back, indeed. Are you using LTN? Yes. 
Vovosunt, welcome in. How about split it into sideways undergrounds? Uh, I don't love having any items, like I'm doing it here, but there won't be any items left on the belt that will never ever get consumed. I don't love doing that. Um, I guess this needs to look like this. That's probably fine. So then... Then we can do our half belt just like that. Or rather take only the iridium ingots like that. Uh, and then we need to do it on the other side as well. Of course, it won't let us flip it. Symmetry go burn. And... May as well connect those. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to work out pretty well. Now we need... Where do I want to do this? Like so. Uh, I think we need some more undergrounds. I think, I think we need some more undergrounds. If only to make this part work. Which way is that facing? Oh, I see. Just barely. <laughs> Let's delete the ones that we've got and make sure everything's working. I tried SE with 50 by 50 blocks and it was quite hard at times, <laughs> indeed. How many blocks are these? Um, oh, I think it's like 80. 78 gives us this square. So if you want to go from the uh, the corner, like the power poles, to the power poles, it's 86. Yep. That makes sense. That's in the snap to grid. Um, and then we need last cake over here. We need to copy, paste, flip all these belts. Um, the rest of that should just be flippable, right? Seems good. No, oh, that's quite neat, actually. about as neat as it's probably going to get anyway. How much does this move per stack? 12. And this thing only stacks to 20. I could maybe allow a smaller provide stack threshold. It's fine. I want to reserve some for making Iridium plate anyway. I already like the shape of this part very much. Oh. 
It'd be nicer if it was under a beacon. Wait, what what tier of beacons do we have? What about small beacons, like uh, compact beacons? We do have compact beacons. Okay, just how compact are these tier one compact beacons? I haven't actually made any, but we have the technology and we have all the prerequisites. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> it's one tile off being able to touch both of them. Uh, what if I used a basic beacon? Just for these ones. I can't fit it anywhere over here, and we're still one off. Oh, can these even keep up? Um, how much? 47.232... Uh, this can consume 5.2 ingots per second. What if we go for speed modules? And hopefully we can squeeze in an efficiency module. That actually only turns 10 ingots per second into plate. Holy crap. We get the answer to why is my inventory so full, because it's so full on the main map? Wait, what? Since one tile is under the rail, 2 by 2 equals 19 equals 76. O okay. Um... Hmm... I think the question is is more because we're converting ingot to plate upstairs as well that's already built into the rail system so the question is is a hundred plate per second enough for everything on the ground i don't think so hmm i really want to pull this off centrally though what if we had even more of these around here? That would be 20 per second, right? That's that's like half of our iridium ingots, almost, can be turned into plate. 200 plate per second is actually 5 stacks per second. And maybe we can squeeze in uh, an efficiency? What do we get? Plus 200% power consumption. Bloody hell. So if I make it two of each, that would consume 12 ingots per second for three stacks of plate per second. Am I going to need like another block or something? To convert ingot to plate. Can't say I was expecting that. Oh, we need to deal with the steam as well. Um, maybe... How much steam do we get? 144 per second. Steam turbine... Consumes 50 per second. These can actually consume a little bit more, but they output water. I think it's 66... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 66 per second. Uh, but at... 144 per second, we would need three steam turbines. And where am I going to put them exactly? I was thinking if I swap around the... Uh, uh, the pyroflux and steam, then we can just squeeze them in here quite easily. And then that would go here. Those two are obvious. This one uh, would be a slight pain, but not really a problem. 
Um, and that's it, right? Yeah, I think... I think I should do it that way. Just, just delete the fluids for now. In fact, delete all of that. Now then. How are you still steamy? God damn it. How? Shoot. It... Seriously? No. I, I don't want to delete the bulk rail loaders because they won't reappear properly. Can I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... This one can go here. I need to turn all of these around. So we have the steam in the middle. Now we apparently don't have to delete this pipe. There it is. And delete steam. That should be it. Oops. I kind of want to put a couple of these steam turbines up here. Oops, that's not the one. I could put all of them up here, actually. Yeah, why not? Because I have a feeling I might want some of this space to try and do more with the... Uh, with converting to plate. Honestly, I think we need another beacon down here. But I can't really fit it? Unless? No. Uh, maybe I should use compact beacon. But I would have to shift these around a bit. I think we can get the same out of a compact beacon as we can from a wide area beacon, right? We've got, um, let's see, 15 module slots at 50% or 10 at 75%. In other words, 7.5 modules worth. So, as much as I love this layout, I th think we're going to have to give it up. Because we'll obviously be able to get a lot more out of our... out of our machines with some compact beacons down here. I don't really have any room to... I could probably move this up like a tile or two, maybe literally one tile, if necessary. No, where would this go? Uh, I guess it could like squ squiggle down this way. Yeah, we can we can move these up a tile if it's if it becomes really necessary. Um, in which case I. Would still not would just be barely be able to put a wide area beacon down here. Bonk, isn't the goal of using, isn't that the goal of using blocks so you can add another block if you need it? I just want the uh, ingot and plate to be able to be picked up in one place. It's we can't even use a productivity bonus for this step, so there's no like, benefit to the upgrade path or anything. If we separate them. 
Besides which, I'm really sure we don't need, like, an entire block or half block to keep up. Oops. Like, if we had... Like, it's, I think it's going to end up being a really small amount compared to the size of half a block. That's why I want to squeeze it in here. Let's just say we have, like, this much. And we can't put anything... We can't put prod modules in these. So it's just going to be speed and then... How fast is this? Well, hold on. Power first. One more efficiency in here. Um, we're looking at... More than double. Or oh, not quite more than double. Uh, we're looking at almost double what this entire block can do with half of half a block over here. So I don't want to use, the, use up the real estate for that if I can help it. Disconnecting from chat every few seconds for a fraction? Unfortunate. Uh, so what does it cost to run a compact beacon? 800 kilowatts. So a few of these is cheaper than a wide area beacon. For power cost over time. And I wouldn't have to move everything up, probably. Let's go speed modules and speed modules and some number of efficiency modules, negative 80%. And then how many of these would we need to keep up with 47.232 per second? We would need 10. Uh, or 11, or 12. I mean, we, we're never really going to need to convert all of them. Some of them are going up to space, of course. 480 iridium plate per second? That's like 12 stacks per second? I don't think we need that much. Um, so, like... Yeah, I think if we can cram in, like, 6 or 8 of these, that's going to be way more than enough. Even if you just had four, indeed. Uh, so what if I put this here? Then I wouldn't be able to put this here for the symmetry. Sad. Uh, that almost fits in there. I mean, it does, but... Where's the symmetry? So two of these gives us 8.7 per second. Uh, and can the inserters keep up? 43 per second, probably. 12 times... Uh, 3.6? 43.2 per second. They are slightly slower than the machines for just one inserter. Hmm. Okay, what? Ah, oh, bloody hell. What if we put these over here as well? That doesn't look quite right. That's fine, actually. Why are you backward when I copy-paste you? Changed my mind. Move this over... Why don't... I do the delivery cannon chest method? Because I want lots and lots of ingots to pile up in here, actually.
how much does this consume? Only 4.3 per second. Cool, cool, cool. It's turning 4.3 into 43. Are you forgetting it's a weight gaining process? What do you mean? Weight gaining? Uh, I guess I don't need these to be here. They can look like this, actually. And then we can just... Limit that one to one train. Maybe even a little bit less. I kind of wanted... Can I really not fit? No, I can't. Hmm. What does plate go into on the ground? It goes directly into bearings and girders. Probably going to need quite a few of them. That's already 144 per second. So like 200 at tier 3 modules. Maybe I should just do a separate block for the conversion. Weight gaining comes from transportation cost. It's why there's bottling and canning plants all over the world because 96% of cola is just carbonated water. I see. Yeah, that's why we send ingots up the space elevator and not plate. But I don't actually want to have to do the unbottling, uh, unlocation for every build. Okay, if I moved this up, all of this stuff up one tile, I could actually fit four of these around... Okay, I think it's worth worth doing, actually. Um... Oh, that actually can go here as well. Don't tell me we're not making because of steam. Why did that just start moving again? Whatever, it's fine. Or maybe I had it disconnected somehow. If this goes up a tile, this would have to go here. That's fine. And for consistency's sake, I'll put this up here. Actually, it looks perfectly good. And... Can we then move all of this up? Just a little bit. Looks good to me. And then we should be able to fit like eight of these pretty easily actually. There might be some spaghetti involved. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe a bit like this. Do 
could probably take a splitter from this one. And then... Oh, that's long. I like it. Move this over a little bit, just for the look of it. Why is that reversed? Why do the purple belts keep reversing when I cut and paste them? I think this looks a little bit better than what I had before anyway. I'm keeping it. And then... Same thing over here. And presumably we can get the output... Somehow. This is actually... might end up looking a bit cleaner than I thought. Oh, not there. Not there. Oh no. Or I could output them this way and then underground. Might be better, actually. How much do we get? 107. Holy crap. Uh, 87.5 between two of them. Okay, then. And... Go. Mm -hmm. I could do it like a circle, circular system here to balance these two. Mil Dorado? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why you move copper plates instead of copper cables? Yeah, but it's not always worth the convenience. Uh, it, it's it's not always worth the cost and convenience, I would claim. Okay. So then, if I have this twice, 350 per second, that's decent. Maybe, no, that's fine. Oh, this actually consumes 35 per second. How many do I need? A 12. Or 11. Wait, what? Oh, eight of these would consume 35 per second. I think I moused over more of these than I thought. Okay. No, that's fine. So if we're looking at 175, that is two belts. Oh, so this side is only one belt, actually. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, what? Oh, I think I miscalculated. We're looking at 350 per second. Um, yeah, so four belts. That's what I was expecting. Eight out of 11 is pretty good, indeed. Yeah, we don't need to convert all of the uh, ingots into plate, but I would like to be able to go faster than we would need overall uh, at times. Morning, big cool. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Can you pipe it out and set the turbines up where the wind turbines normally go? I really don't want to encroach on that common space in any of my builds. It's just kind of a personal preference. Um, so what if we had something... Well, that's not going to have to go far, obviously. Can we do something similar over here, though?
not quite like that. That's in the wrong spot. Wait, what? Oh, that doesn't fit there, does it? Mm, this one might have to be a little bit different. I mean, I could... I hate the look of it, but we could put this underground up here. May as well be consistent if I'm going to do that. At least this is, like, symmetrical over here. So then this would go here, I think. Um, and can I do a loader like this? A loader like this? Um, yeah, I think, I think that's actually a reasonable way to do it. A loader like this. Well, one of these is going to have to look a little bit wonkier. Because this splitter is over here. If only that signal didn't have to be there. Alternatively, I could have these two output over here or something. Somehow. It's probably fine. Or I could push, like, these two just into this front one. That's probably okay as well. Uh, how many plate per second are we looking at? 350. I think this is going to be faster than a train can keep up with. Maybe. We'll see. So maybe, yeah, maybe this should just go straight to the front. And someone probably pointed out that was missing. Hello, hello, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't hate this. So we're going to limit the front to one cargo wagon. Probably less than that if if we can push... What is this? Uh, 180 per second to the front. Hmm. I wish I knew exactly how fast it loads a train. Maybe... You know, two purple belts is probably faster than the bulk rail loader puts stuff into the train. Maybe. Probably. Therefore... Um, therefore, why don't we just limit the front one entirely? Well, I mean, we don't probably don't have to be that aggressive with it. But we could probably limit uh, the one at the front, and then when the train comes to pick this up, it'll pick it up. As fast, well, not as fast, I imagine, as two purple belts can fill up the bulk rail loader. And even if, even if that is the bottleneck for loading it into the front cargo wagon, 180 per second with a stack size of 40, uh, 4.5 seconds 
4.5 stacks per second, rather. So uh, it would take 11.11 seconds to load. Uh, that's actually a bit slower than I expected. Maybe I'll limit this to like 20 or 30 stacks. We can tweak it, but the point is... Because we're pushing to the front so fast, because the overall throughput is so high, the amount that gets pushed to the front while the train is loading means that we'll set a lower limit for the front. Why limit it at all? Because I want short trains to be able to pick up uh, Iridium Plate as well. And if we push it to both sides, that imbalances it. Unless we push it all through a giant splitter, a uh, balancer, which uh, is bigger than I would like. That's all. Um, but yeah, I think we actually should push this one to the back. So maybe... like this. Spaghetti Gober. Seems good. That one's already set correctly. Um, I'm pretty sure we can just set this to provide stack threshold 100 and tweak this part so it always works right. Same thing for this. Just set that to like 40 stacks or something. Cool. That seems pretty decent to me. Oh, wait, I kind of want to keep this because it functions as a list of all of the ingot builds we want to update. That was so weird that we ended up with iron on one side and sand on the other. I wonder if there's a way we can force the timing so that we do get iron and sand on both sides. Oh, we changed it. Interesting. Okay, blueprint time. Uh, let's say ingot advanced furnace. Uh, and I probably want to swap out the... Why do we have tier 3 prod modules in here somewhere? Oh no, some of the math might be wrong. Some of the math is definitely wrong. Oh no. Uh, does that mean... D does that mean we end up with fewer or more ingots per second? I imagine it would be fewer... Oh, really? These ones are correct. It's slightly fewer. It is, it's surprising how little difference that makes. It's like one per second ingots fewer with the higher tier prod modules. All right, cool. Uh, and let's confirm that all of our pipes are correct. That looks good. Why are we not producing right now? Because we've got steam. 
because the free power source over here isn't letting us delete it. Hmm. Wait, is it actually powering itself? No way. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> not even close. It's just that we can't consume all the steam uh, very quickly. All right. Um, in that case, let me just put a void pipe here to deal with the steam. Didn't notice that earlier. And this guy's not getting pyroflux. Glad I checked. And it should be the same thing on this side. Cool. Very cool, actually. I quite like this build. I'm only a little bit sad about how um, framing the plate converters turned out. Actually, why don't I do what I did at the other end over here? And we'll just limit it to like 20 stacks or whatever. Should probably be even smaller since the uh, the stack size is half as big with the ingots. Basically, if I could calculate exactly how quickly the bulk rail loader loads the trains, um, I would time it so that this will just barely fill up the front cargo wagon in the same time that it fills up the back cargo wagon. Or maybe, like, a split second slower. Mike Lad, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Three streams in a row, thank you. West dude, welcome in. Will the stream... Uh, steam turbine block power priority... Will the steam turbine block when power priority tells them to stop? Um, I'm pretty sure the steam will get consumed, um, when we don't have cheap power over here. I'm not sure if there's a way to... Mode buffer? What is mode buffer? Input is a consumer, output produces power. What does buffer do? I have no idea. Output priority tertiary. One would think that would mean the steam turbines have a higher priority to produce power. Hmm. Well, whatever the case. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll work in our actual game. And if it doesn't, I can always add some... Uh, what do you call them? Uh, some vents. Some flare stacks. Buffer is classic accumulator behavior? Well... Maybe. Let me just put this one over here and set it to buffer. No? It's just looking empty. Hmm. What is this for? That's in a weird position. Oh, I see. That sets the train limit. What do we need? 100 times 20, 2,000. So train limit one when it's in, when it's up to 3k. Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. Let me just clean up these wires a little bit. That's a lot easier to read. 
All right. I think we're ready to blueprint this thing. Oh, wait. I want to change it to tier 3 modules. Um, and we'll upgrade them later. Let's see. Compact. Beacon. Uh, I'm actually not sure what to put in there. I wish I could swap these in the same way that I did before. Advanced assembly machine. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, speed threes. Industrial furnaces, prod threes. Uh, and beacon... Oh. I think the blueprint includes these. Oh, that's weird. Wait, what? I'm just gonna delete and replace. Rod threes. Like so. Why couldn't I place that just now? Oh, I see. And... Like that. And if we're using tier 3 modules, what do we put in the... Small beacons. Plus two forty five per cent power consumption. Ouchie. Maybe I should put some tier sixes in to begin with for the efficiency modules. We've got a few of those lying around. They are relatively cheap. Or at least we had the materials on hand to make a bunch of them to start with. Yeah, that's looking a bit better. That's looking a lot better. Plus 200%. Okay, so we'll go three tier 6 efficiencies in there. Uh, and don't forget... Now it's standard... That's actually wrong these things have five prod modules. Three speed, and the rest can be efficiency. That'll be more than enough for a while, I think. 6.45 ingots per second. Okay, I think that's our blueprint for now. Cool, cool, cool. Ingot. And then... Don't need the tiles. Do need the train stop names. Snap to grid. 86, 25, 1. And... Remove the cheat items, actually. All good. Advanced Iridium Ingot. Create a blueprint. Snap 2 looks good. And replace this silly thing that I made. Not really, not realizing that Iridium ingots were one of only two ingots that uh, we can directly prod module. Cool. And the nice thing about this one is, for this build at least, we don't need any spaceship floor. Oh, the construction train is still here. That's good. Let's remove all of this. And that's actually in the right place already. Fantastic. 
Remove the blue belt. And then... I wonder how long one of my playthroughs of SE would take if I paused the game to do all the design work. Let's see. Advanced Iridium Ingot. I'll go. We're going to need some steam turbines. We're going to need... Oh, this is not the construction. <laughs> this is this is the deconstruction train, actually. But it's replacing all the stuff that it picked up already. So that's, uh, that's good. That's very good, actually. What are these trains waiting for? Uh-oh. No path. Because we didn't put a signal back here. Oh, right. Yeah, this is why I usually don't. Um, don't path trains through these bits like that. Because there's literally not enough room to do the signals in all directions. Cool, cool, cool. All right, construction train, do your thing. There's some stuff that we don't normally carry in this build, like steam turbine. Uh, how many advanced furnaces do we have? 40? That's actually quite a lot. 6, 12, 24. We only need 24. And that might actually be everything. Let's just find out the easy way. And then I'll park the uh, concrete train over here. And I won't bother putting down the um, tile blueprints until it gets here. Because it'll slow down the bot responsiveness. Hello, Denton. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Do you mean if you had a separate testing save? Yeah, as opposed to jumping into uh, the editor while the game is still running. Like, I wonder how quickly you could finish SE if you had finalized blueprints from an entire playthrough and then just started over. Well, in other words, a speedrun, I guess. I didn't bring enough purple belt, and apparently my ability to count advanced furnaces is suboptimal. Uh, but I think other than that, we are going to have everything when the train comes back here. I do need to remove the steam turbines from the train, but whatever. Ooh, look at him go. Look at them go. Didn't I decide there was a better... Yeah, I think I decided regular concrete was a nicer background with the advanced furnaces. You know what? It's not too late. We're doing it. Uh... Wait. Did I not click it? Uh, 
We also needed more rod modules, maybe. Cool. So now we just need a block that exports blast cake. Um, for the old build, we had a lot of steps in one place. We don't need to do cutting and ion beads in the same place anymore. We've got them here. Uh, what else? We're not doing ingots or plate in the same build anymore. So we're either going to do one block for Iridium Powder and one block for Blast Cake. Or we could put them in the same place, but... If we ratio them at like tier 3 prods, the count is not going to be the same later on. Do we have to use centrifuges? Please say no. Uh, that consumes them. Yeah, no, it has to be centrifuges. If we want any productivity bonus at all. That's unfortunate. They're slow and they only have two prod modules. Uh, we will be able to use advanced chemical plants, though. I think I'll just do a block for each of these. Keep it simple. I've been wanting to get away from the multiple steps with different productivity ratios in one block. Oh, and don't forget the train. Last cake, now I'm hungry. Delicious. Uh, let's send you back. And did I not place concrete here? Apparently not. Okay. And what's this train carrying? Stone brick as well. That's going to be a problem when we're trying to pick up uh, all of the old black reinforced plate. I wouldn't say it looks bad, um, but I definitely, I, I definitely like to have a bit more contrast so we can see the machines and the inserters. Okay. Back into the editor we go. Wherein we shall have... What? Uh, advanced chemical plants. Usual beacons. Can we prod this? I think we can. Yes, we can. Let's ratio it for tier 6 and then upgrade it later. Just like we did a moment ago. I'll probably just do two columns. Depends how fast it is. Uh, so not tier 3 here. Tier 6, plus 300%, minus 80%, 302 iridium powder per second, with a stack size of 30? That's 10 stacks per sec, holy crap. That's kind of fast. How much does our block consume? Uh, I forgot to check. Oh, no. Let's find out. I need power. Uh, just get rid of this, and... Well, maybe not the power pole. I believe it's six efficiencies. Six, 
So that was... Where can I place it? Height? Oh, whatever. I forgot this consumes blast cake, actually. How much blast cake are we looking at? 230. Okay. I'll, I'll just leave that there so we can remind ourselves. Our target is 230 blast cake per second. Um, which would mean... Well, I should probably work backward one step at a time. So we're using centrifuges? I really wish there was a higher tech, higher speed, more prod modules, but especially the first two things. A uh, version of centrifuge. Get rid of those item on ground. So if we cram like four columns, which I'm sure we can, probably, that would be only 60 blast cake per second. We would need two, we would need two blocks like this. Okay, let's just make the one for now. Overclock, welcome in. Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so what's the input output? Two solids, one solid. Really, really basic. And the rate... Uh, 60 blast cake per second. Only consumes 10 enriched vulcanite. 216 iridium powder per second. I think we've got plenty of room, though, because it's just little 3x3 three three machines. So how much do we need for two columns? 108, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Alright. So for one column... Yeah, we just need half belt. We need a, a full belt of input for each column. Um, so we'll probably... I could squeeze it in like this if absolutely necessary, but I doubt it will be. What's our rate individually? It's super slow. But I'm pretty sure... The superior inserters are more EPS efficient anyway. So we'll eventually have everything running on that. Um, I don't think we need to do a squiggly belt here. Guess I can just copy this. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very straightforward build. Bulk rail loader. Um, so we're looking at only 60 blast cake per second. So I think we'll have the other side um, output to the same train stop. What's it stacked to? 20. That's like three stacks. Could put this here. Don't think there's any reason. Oh, what's the total for all of this? 120. So we do actually need two purple belts. That kind of simplifies it, oddly enough.
Maybe... Maybe this would be neater. Yeah, I think I like that better. Cool, cool, cool. And... I don't think we're ever having short trains picking up blast cake. Definitely not. So we can just do provide stack threshold 100. And like so. How much are we getting again? Like three stacks per second. I think the loaders here can handle it. Otherwise we'll just have to put in some splitter. Or a splitter, I guess. Um, alright. Bulk rail unloaders. How much are we consuming again? 216 per second. I think we should have uh, unloaders on both sides here. And we just need the two solids for input. Let's do our test input. Red wire to the individual container, set filters blacklist, and shift right, shift left. May or may not be fast enough depending on... Uh, how much do I need? 108 per second, so I can't exactly... Do one of these and then split it. I wonder if there's a neat way... ...to merge these in. Bad sleep noise overload? I'm sorry to hear that. One good night's rest in two weeks. Ouch. Not to that extent, but I can definitely relate. Luckily, things have changed a bit here lately. I've finally had some degree of peace and quiet. Will you be sharing Blueprint after Endgame? Absolutely. In fact, uh, you can find Blueprints in the Discord, indeed. Lesux Desoya, welcome in. Akale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we need, um, not so much the uh, enriched vulcanite, but for iridium powder I need a couple of full belts split into half belts. Wait. 54%. Oh, that's more. That's more than half a belt. I think it's sushi time. Uh, let's see. I think if we do three quarters to one quarter, that'll be fine. Uh, times 0.75. Yeah, that should be fine. Yay, sushi. Uh, alright, so... Let me think about this for a second. We've got a full belt of iridium powder. And because of how it comes out from the container, a full belt of... Uh, what's it called again? Enriched Vulcanite. My brain cannot do words anymore. Uh, we're going to have a couple of these. We're going to block this one off over here. Um, 
And that's going to give us... 50% of a belt. And I need 50% of that again. Um, can I do it without doubling the, the whole thing? Or... I, don't, I think the answer is no. Oh wait, no. Kind of, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can do it like this. So then we get a quarter of a belt. And then we apply that to the enriched vulcanite. And then just merge it in with the powder. And that looks like 50-50. Why is it 50-50? Oh, I think we do need to double this part. What the red, what's the red filter for? Um, it basically just, it's it's just an item that won't be on the belt. So we're saying nothing is allowed on this side of the belt. Input priority, yeah. That looks like 50-50. Why... Why... Why for art thou... 50-50. So we get a 50% output, and then we send 50% of that back this way. Oh, I forgot the priority input. That probably works now. Yeah, that looks like 25% to me. Wombatus Maximus, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is the looping of the splitter... It is... It's the looping of the splitters that's causing the problem. Uh, yeah, it was because I didn't do input priority. So we want this to slow down. That's the whole point of this contraption. So if we have input priority over here, it will do that. Okay, so that's 25% of a belt, and rest, and the powder, and then we get three quarters powder, which is what we need. But my concern here is I would have to make one of these contraptions one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in the block. Four on each side. Can I get around that, maybe? We only need 5.4... Um, enriched Vulcanite per second. What if... I have a simpler idea. A much simpler idea, actually. What if... We had... A merger, like this, and then, hold on, how much do we need here? We need 54 per second out of 90. Okay, so even a red belt would work for this. I don't even need to do a half belt, but if I just bottleneck that at 15 per second, and merge it in, That's it. Simple as that. That is one way we can do sushi ratios. With a whole lot less uh, mucking about. Snap, lol. Hi there, have a nice stream. Thanks, uh, one batters. Didn't read all the messages. What do you mean? You are running afoul of the old method of splitter filtering. What do you mean? 
Rather than splitters, can you just use yellow belt? Yes. Yes, we can. And I thought I would have to do like a half belt of yellow uh, when I first thought of it, but no, not even close. This could be red belt and it would still be good enough. Okay, so let's do that. Um, and we're going to need a shared container to loop back into. I like to do the 4x4s just because... What the... No. No, no, and furthermore, no. Uh, I like to do the 4x4s just because... You know, I could save some space with some filter inserters. Assuming they can keep up. Nah, it's fine. I think blue is way more than we need here. Oh wait, I could be wrong. How much do we need? 216. That's more than two purple belts. I feel like our trains are going to have trouble keeping up with this. Well, they are very, very fast trains. To be fair. Uh, Iridium powder. And then... Was that? That's purple. And then we have red wire, like so. Why does this look least obtrusive? Maybe like that. And we're just going to say... Well, what's, the, what's the ratio again? It's like a million to one. Uh, reserve 200 stacks for... Blast powder? I don't think it matters. The ratio in this container. Let's just do like 50-50. Let's give them 100 stacks each. 50-100... And, uh, 30. So then, that'll fill up until it's 50-50 with this stuff, and we have plenty of space left over to recycle. Now then, I don't even need a piece of belt, I can just use a loader. That's going to be neat and tidy. So this is... Uh, enriched Vulcanite. This is Iridium Powder. And we merge them together like so. And that that's it. That's our sushi belt. Which means we can simply put this here. Where are we going to... I might need a bigger container just so that I can fit the recycled uh, belt. Hmm. I need one, two, three, four of these. Wait, how much, how much do we need for the whole thing? Only 10 enriched vulcanite, period. So what if, what if, what if, This goes here. This goes here-ish. This goes here. This goes here. And then... This one... Just merges into all of them. It's gonna go like 50%, 25%, 12.5%, and... Six and a quarter percent, though, isn't it? So it's probably better if we just have one of these next to each of them. But then... I think we do need a bigger container. We've got room for it. It's not actually a problem. Um... 
so we'll go for the big one. And what a huge monstrosity it is. Um, I can definitely change it to allow, like, let's say 240 stacks. 12,000. And 7.2k. I can definitely allow more of this in here, and then we're very easily going to have room to make this work. And another one of these over here. And here. Where do I want to put it, though? I could move this over a bit. That might help. I can I can very easily move it over one tile. Uh, in fact, I could move it over a couple of tiles. Oh, didn't even realize I could put the the input belt over there. But I was thinking of putting it up here for the look of it. And who cares if there's a little bit of if it's a little bit less precise. Howdy. Maholic, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Is looping so when shortage is over, it's working again by itself? Isn't this going to work only when there are no shortages in supplies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y you always need to loop. That's why, that's why it's called sushi. Even if... Uh, even if you make a build which... I think single cylinder engines is a good example. Let me just check. No. Um, okay, well, multi-cylinder engine is kind of like engines in vanilla. Except that it wants two of everything. Um, but I actually spent quite a while trying to make a, a build that worked this way with engines in vanilla. Um, basically, you have a row of machines like this. You have a system which precisely provides them with a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 of all of these uh, inputs. And the machines are going to screw it up for you. Um, if you don't loop it back, you're going to have machines take all the iron gear wheels that they can for three recipes, and then all of the single cylinder engines that they can for three recipes, assuming that it's in front of them at the time. Uh, and it's going to throw off what's on the belt. Uh, little by little, you're going to end up with, like, a row of gears and nothing else, and then the inserter is unable to take what it needs. Howdy, so fast. Wait, what? Welcome in, Maholic. Salvi the Fox, welcome in also. Bid the Stain, good to see you again. How is your stream? Uh, but yeah, sadly, whenever you do some kind of shared belt input like that, you're always going to have to loop it. It's just just how it is. Um, so let's put this over here, perhaps. And do I need... It's probably a good idea if I make sure that each of these have their own belt to bring it back. Oh wow, that that reach. Hmm, I guess I could I, I could push this one tile to the right again. It would actually be symmetrical. These belts would look a little bit more wonky. They don't have to actually. They do not have to look wonky at all. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it like this. So this can go here. These can go here. This can go here. And then... That's pretty neat, actually. Um, where would be the tidiest place to loot this back? Eh, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Although, I think I kind of want to make it sync up with what we're going to have on the other side. It's so confusing, the way these belts move fast enough to look like they're going backward. Um, but yeah, that seems to be it. Let's do this side as well. Nice and symmetrical-like. Beautiful. This looks slightly off, but it looks a lot less off than what the other bits would have looked like. How is sushi for UPS? I don't know. I don't think it's that bad, probably. Cool. Um, yeah, if we're going to get 120 blast cake per second... And it's stacks to 20? Six stacks per second? I think I would like to have... Where should I put this? How about here, actually? We're never going to have a short train pick this up. So we don't need need to worry about rebalancing it. Uh, so yeah, I th why does this reverse when I copy paste it? Uh, cut and paste it. It's weird. I think we're gonna go for this and unlimited. On second thought, I should probably have two stations to pick up the um, the Iridium Blast Cake, so we can have two frames picking it up at the same time. Okay, cut this. Actually, just leave it like that. And that way we can see that that's in the right place very easily. That looks good to me. Why do we not have powder? Uh, we do have powder. I wonder why it took so long to catch up. Hmm. Anyway. I'll definitely bear this in mind next time I'm thinking about sushi. Especially if it's only two items that we need to balance. That looks pretty cool, I think. Neat build, thank you. The reverse belt bug happened to me so often. Uh, do you mean like when I tried to do this? 
or, you, or you, uh, you're not talking about how this just looks like it's going backward because of the frame rate, right? Alright, um, we should probably tell LTN what we've got in here as well. We're going to be asking for lots of powder. So the trains can keep up with that. Come to think of it, I forgot to do the LTN stuff uh, for this block, but I think it was already set up. Yeah, that should be okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get our concrete train over here. And wait for 30 seconds past and some inactivity. Okay. So this is Iridium Blast Cake. Provider. Uh, these settings will be fine. This is requesting powder and vulcanite. Goes into. Sadly, it still goes into a centrifuge, and out comes blast cake. Where is the blast cake? Here it is. Simple enough. We don't need any fluids. We need probably barely more than a train load of enriched vulcanite. How long does this take to go through a thousand? Oh, a long time. Uh, a hundred seconds. Yeah, well, that should be fine. And then uh, the powder, we're going through 7.2 stacks per second, which means 13.89 seconds for one train load. That's kind of fast. So I definitely think we should request like three train loads to try and make sure they keep up with this. 30, 100 times three. Input as a negative. And that should be it. Cool. Let's blueprint. And... Fantastic, indeed. Give me a moment. Last cake. You know, it's nice to just focus on new and improved builds instead. Oh, wait, I need to swap in the, the modules for now. It's nice to focus on new and improved builds rather than... Excuse me. Rather than chasing squirrels. At least for a while. Those are all good. Question mark? This is actually lasting longer than I thought it would without more inputs. Seems good. And then... How many efficiencies do we need when there's only two prod modules? Wait. No, I'm pretty sure... I did ratio this for just barely negative 80% power consumption, right? Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let's just check. How many speeds can we cram in? Only one more. Than we had, I think. So... Each column is 12 of these. Which is 60... Iridium powder per second. 90 minus 15 is greater than 60. I believe it's 75. Yeah, the sushi should still work. What about the whole block throughput? Well, that should be fine, right? The blast cake that comes out is relatively minuscule. Uh, what are we looking at? 48 of these for each half block. 67, that's less than a purple belt. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, and furthermore, cool. Where are my speed three modules? Plus 400%. Uh, I'm tempted again to put in a handful of tier six efficiencies, since that's what we've already got. You know what? Why not? Why not? Okay, so this is obviously too much speed. Minus 80%. That's plus 40%. Sure. I could probably put like a tier 3 here, I guess. Minus 50%. Nah, screw it. Makes it more complicated anyway. Cool. And let's blueprint this thing. Pretty sure we swapped out all the tier, uh, tier 9s. My original name was on Nalvis. Okie dokie. Let me just finish this first. Uh, alright. This is cake. Uh, I'm gonna call it advanced blast cake, even though there's no new machine to use, because this is our final version. I think. That's the idea, anyway. Did I remove all the cheat inputs? I believe I did. Fantastic. Cool. Where should we build it? Probably right next to this thing, and these spots are already taken. Um, and I want it close to the powder. How about over here, and we'll put the powder up this way, maybe. Oh, is that going to be a problem over here? Kind of, probably. We can probably ignore it for now. Construction train reporting. Please park yourself over here. And let's do the names in base. Where's my reward queue? Okay. Name in base. Akale. Let's go. At the spellivator, I imagine. Is it 1L or 2? It was 1. There we go. Mark that one off. Uh, Denton, sure. D, Denton. And then we've got... Overclock, upgrade to gold. And that's actually it. Who added 
Name a pilot again. Is this a new way to suicide a video game narrator? <laughs> Indeed. Oh, that was two days ago. Wait, two days ago? Oh, I meant to refund that. Unless you actually want it in the MechWarrior game, Glacier Wolf. Alright, overclock, name and base, upgrade to gold. You said it was on Nalvis, correct? That's not Nalvis. Um, this, this is Plato. This is Nalvis. Ooh. We're getting there. We, well, there's still a lot to go, but we're getting there. Alright, where are our names? We're looking for overclock. There it is. Alright. Do I have the copy paste? I do. And we need some stone brick. To make it look a bit better against the snow. There we go. Might as well, since you're doing it now, no worries. Thank you, welcome. Bog champ, indeed. Alright, how's our build going over here? We need the train to move down, I think. And there's probably some... Oh, I, I don't think I brought... Uh... How many do we need? 48 times 2, I think. Yeah, we need 96... Um... Whatchamacallisms. Centrifuges. I can never remember the name of these because I don't have to look for them very often. That was that was not 96, that was 90. Okay. Centrifuge is go. And I think everything else will get done organically. So if I just put this here, that should get finished after the train reloads and comes back here with the centrifuges without us doing anything else. Except we need eight uh, tier 6 efficiency modules. Also, I need to make compact beacons. I don't think we have the tier 6 efficiency modules. Like, in the mall. We've got uh, quite a few. That was a lot more than I was expecting already. Well, yeah, we've actually got a decent amount of um, of modules. Let's go get them. Oh, uh, but first, compact beacon. What does it take? I have a vague re recollection. Uh, Holmium Cable, Energy Conduit... We could do it here, right now. Compact Beacon. And go. What do you got? That's kind of quick. I only need two right now. And you can probably stop for the moment. Now let's go pick up some modules. And I'm actually going to stop using... Uh, I'll just turn these. Why, why is this wrong? Uh, I'm going to stop using most of the labs for now. Until we get some higher tier productivity modules. I'll just use this one. Put a little... Module planner over this. There we go. We are here. And... 
probably don't need to be carrying all this stuff right now. Uh, I don't really want to drop the material fabricators down. Oh, actually, I do want to put... drop them off in the mall. Because... Because I'm going to do some material fabricator builds on the ground to convert matter. If I do that at all, it's going to be on the ground. But I'm pretty sure I will. Why do I still have Teslas? Okay, let's go get those modules. Gimme, gimme. I think I'll just hold on to them for the moment. And 50 efficiency sixes, 50 speed sixes. Um, I should probably drop off... Yeah, let's just do a one-off and drop off a bunch of tier sixes in the mall. So that it can get into the train. Um, apparently our robots are having problems. What What's the issue? We only have 50 Logibots. That's normal, though. Uh, hmm. Maybe we need some storage chests down here so the bots don't travel back and forth when the train empties. That's probably it. Uh, let me go visit our construction train. Whoops. Taxi. Wait, it left. What are we missing over here? Wait till full cargo. What are we missing here? Superior inserters? Oh, we just placed lots of them, that's all. That's fine. Is the train coming back? I don't think it is. Wait for... inactivity. Oh. And I need to do the compact beacons as well. Cool. Very cool. And we should get this build done while we're here. Should. Apparently... Wait, what? It's not placing the... It's getting to five seconds of inactivity when it's still got purple belt here. Bruh. Did I forget that we've got a million, um, construction ghosts somewhere? Uh, that's probably not helping, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, no, the bots are not... Uh, do they not have electricity? They do have electricity. What? Why are they not building... I'm going to guess there's something weird going on. Here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I um, remove these ghosts and then put them back, we should see the bots spring into action. Yep. I had a bunch of bots crawling back to the... crawling back to the wagon and therefore, like, this guy is maybe reserved to place this piece of purple belt, or something like that. Uh, that said, I still didn't bring enough superior inserters. 
Should probably wait till the bots catch up again. Good grief. I wanted the construction train to come down here as well, but... Uh, it's like another minute. Purple loads as well, I think. Purple loads? Oh, loaders? Oh, yellow loaders. We need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we don't normally carry those. There is a mod, Advanced Centrifuge, but I haven't tested them yet. Maybe I should have installed it. It's a little bit late now. Not that I knew that I would have any need for it. Alright, looks like the bots all actually managed to get back inside. Let's take our construction train over here. And wait for a little bit more inactivity this time. Just to be sure. And you can go back to the mall for now. That should all get done in one go. I don't know if we necessarily need this new depot yet, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Why do we have hovering bots again? It would sort itself out eventually, but they're going to get this stuff built faster if I give them a hand. Okay. Back we go. We need a bunch of red belt. Actually. Is that all that's missing? Pretty much. 400 red belt and just one stack of everything else. I could probably just pick that up myself. Where even is red? Ooh, convenient. Now, what about the rest? I need, like, two loaders. I think I could just handcraft them. Um, and I think it was, like, less than one stack of underground red belts. Oh, there they are. No! In fact, let me just reunite you with your brothers. I don't think we needed splitters. I could be wrong. Uh, and I might have to search for the undergrounds. Yep. Where was that other place just now? Oh, the old... The old names with the nuclear plant. Okay. Alright, back we go. And should be able to get all of that done in one visit. Missing a row of windmills. Yeah, I kind of saw that. I thought I could get away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. I think I've got a couple in my inventory still, probably. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get rid of the windmills eventually. People say they impact UPS. Like, I, I'm, I haven't seen it, but... They are really producing a minuscule amount of power. 
proportionally. 82 megawatt. We're getting 1.8 gigawatts sent down the space elevator. 1.4 gigawatt from our steam turbines down here. We're going to get a whole lot from power plants on the surface when we um, beam power with the high temp turbine generators. But yeah, that's how many? 4.1 thousand wind turbines. Give or take. Looks like this thing's working now. Let's head back. Inri, Inri. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this is going to be our new Iridium ingots. I really want to get this online before I chase any more squirrels or go after anything new. That actually looks really good. Uh, so this is Blast Cake. We have almost finished building it. What are we missing? Just a bunch of inserters. That should get done this time. And... Uh, I guess we need to do the powder now. That one's going to be fun. Alright, so what goes into powder? I think we need advanced chemical plant. Yeah, we were getting started on this, weren't we? Or... Or trying to figure out the ratio. Oops. Alright, so once again, we'll build it for tier 9s. Why did it put three in? That was weird. Uh, and then we'll just roll it back to the modules that we've actually got for now. Perfect. And theoretically, we can do this many. And Probably not double it in a half block. Let's see. That's 302 powder per second already. Which is 10 stacks per second. We're also cycling 2.4 thousand dirty iridium water per second. I think, I, I don't think we'll be doubling this in the half block. How much does our... Uh... Oh, I forgot to check again. I think it ended up being roughly the same for the other build. With the tier 9 modules versus the tier 3s as we've got them now. Okay, so one of these builds might be able to supply one of those builds. Or even just a half block, actually. We're going to need two of the other one anyway. Now, we need some purification. Uh, where's that plant? What's it called again? Filtration plant. Which is going to be taking dirty iridium water. There's only the one recipe, right? Yeah. Dirty Iridium Water. Inputs and output speeds. Also outputs uh, crushed iridite and stone. Oh, this one's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot like this build, but worse. Let's see what we get. 
if we put in speed nines, how many would we need to keep up with this? 2.419,2,419 per second. We would need 13? Okay, I think we should do, like, this on this side and this on the other side kind of thing. This is a, this is 12. Can we even fit 13? They're the same size, so... Kind of? Maybe? So what's the ratio here? We gain 169.2 fluid per second. We could let that be the bottleneck, but I don't think it's going to be strictly necessary. What about the IO? Um, we need... holy crap. Net 9.5 beads per second. Net 14 crushed per second. And the fluids aren't really much of a problem. Throughput wise. Each column needs 57 beads per second and a whole belt of crushed iridite. Hmm. The fluid pipes are probably going to be a problem as well. Something like this. So if we have... Let's say we use a purple belt for the crushed iridite input. And maybe we put it in like this. And then... How much of the other thing do we need? 57 cadian beads per second. Let's just use purple belt for that as well. Uh, how many do they need individually? 9.5 beads per second. That's probably fine to use an inserter. Not too difficult so far. Now, we do need to recycle um, beads and crushed iridite. I'm going to try and get away with that with a swap chest. First of all, where am I going to put these pipes? I guess I can do it like that. How much throughput from one column? 1.2k. So I'm thinking actually... Uh, separate outputs that go back over here. And that way we won't... We probably won't need pumps. I could put pumps anyway. Um, but yeah, let's say we mirror that up here. 
Wait, what? Oh. Swap chest would have to go here. That's probably fine. Uh, and this one would have to... That's a problem. I could move this up here. That is still a problem. What if we put these together? That should be fine. So this one has to go here, this one can go here, and this one goes here. And then the one output that we're looking for, which is iridium powder. And escape this way. Not like that. God. Ruru. Jamord, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um Oh. I should probably use inserters on this end, because inserters will take turns, but loaders, I don't think, will take turns with inserters. Uh, and also, well, I guess I could do some wire over here to control the loaders, if necessary. We'll try it this way first. And then, can we do the mirror image of that over here? Oh, it even flipped this part around, but not these. There we go. All right, so basically, it might not even need any smarts for this part. Worst case, we'll have to read what's in the chest to control the inserters taking from the primary source. We only have two solids for input, so we can do our test input like this. Actually, I think... I think... no, oh, that's fine. We'll do the fluid... how many fluids do we need? Two. Hmm. Which fluid is slower? They're both pretty slow, actually. Oh, wait, no. 600 per second, that's not that slow. If the center gets too cramped, you could always move the machines out a tile. Indeed. I think we'll be okay this time. Uh, and I can either do... a typical loader like this. Or... I could do some smaller 50k containers uh, like this if I want that fluid drop off to be super fast as well. Which maybe I should because there's going to be a lot of trains dropping off here. Yeah, I think I should actually. Which fluid do we go through faster? I guess it doesn't matter. Well, I've got more storage for up here. Then again, we've got plenty of storage for either of them. Um, they're both 672. It's fine. Alright, let's put this here. Set filters blacklist. 
and put in our solid inputs. And then we need some... Uh, hydrogen chloride? Oh, I have a feeling we're going to have to increase our production of that. And nitric acid, same thing. Nitric acid. Cool. And then... If that's what we're going with... That can go there. Wait, that, that one's wrong, isn't it? Needs to go up here. That's unfortunate. Maybe I should swap it just so that this lines up. So then... This goes up here, actually? Why... And this goes here. And this goes here. And this goes here. Looks good, question mark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Maybe I should use steel pipes for this part. I could... No, that's fine. Balnor, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. How goes the hunt for the end of SE? Oh, that's a while off yet. There's no rush. I want to do things nicely. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be all of our inputs. Basically. Which one was faster? That's definitely wrong. We need this to be... Crushed Iridite. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why why have you done this? And this will be beads. Seems good. Oh, but with two inputs, if it gets imbalanced, it could actually stop. We need to recycle everything anyway. With the beads. Oh, crap. Um, Is it only the beads? No, it's also the crushed iridite. I should really be pushing these into one container somewhere. That's not what I want to hear. Can I fit a... I, I can technically fit a big one here. Let's do a 4x. How many can slots is that? 256. Okay. Should have cut and pasted some of these loaders. In 
then we need to bring all of these in elegantly somehow. Hmm. I definitely have room to make this work, but can I make it not hideous, is the question. About something like this. Oh, well, that's actually surprisingly good. Yeah, I actually like that. Cool. And then we're going to recycle the output from this. And, uh... Oh, right. Is that going to be a problem? No, I don't... I think so. We probably don't have to recycle anything from here. Probably. How many beads do we need on this end? 142 per second for the whole thing? Uh, 123 per second. That's not a very big difference. Why don't we bring our beads over this way? Um, unless? Maybe I should just get it from this side. I've, I've got, like, one very busy train stop here, and I haven't used this one at all yet. Should maybe split them up a little bit. Like, we can get beads from this side. Yeah, I think we will get beads from this side. Let's, uh, drain all of these. Take long. Okay, get rid of all this. Actually, kind of like that better. And we're going to have. Set filters blacklist. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Unless I want to use these, um, unless I want to use this storage space, I doubt it. So we could probably have one fluid drop off over this side as well, although this sort of fits together really well already. Yeah, I could just connect this over here. And that's going to greatly simplify this part. Eh, you know what? This part looks fine, I think. Okay. Okay. 
O. I just noticed a little problem, but I have a way around it. It's probably fine. Probably fine. We're not going to have trouble moving the nitric acid. No, I don't think so. Don't need a pump or anything. Well, I'm not going to be using green wires on this side. Actually. I'm going to swap the colors. The reason for that is so that we can not cross-contaminate telling LTN what we've got here. Which color am I going to use to control this, though? Uh, I think... Hmm. We might still be able to pull it off. Maybe. Okay, so this is going to be... Well, I guess it doesn't need a filter now, does it? It's going to be beans. And that's going to go in here. And normally I would put red wire here. Except I'm going to use red wire. Excuse me. I'm going to use red wire to let LTN no. About all of our beads. We're only requesting beads on this end. And we don't have a provide threshold. So that shouldn't cause any problems. And then vice versa to check the beads in this container here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, 200 stacks. Let's go 100 each, I guess. Beads less than 200, 100. That's quite a lot, actually. And uh, crushed iridite, 400, 100. And we should end up with 50, 50. Stack-wise. Oh. May as well connect this wire over here. Make that a little bit less messy. Um, and I wonder if I could actually fit... Just for symmetry's sake. This over here. I think I could. And then this needs another underground. Or I could just use steel pipe. That looks kind of weird. How about a one off, really? Fine. If I use, the thing is, if I use a piece of steel pipe, I kind of want to put steel pipe everywhere here. You know what? I think that's fine. Let's make a... let's steal an upgrade planner. Pipe to steel pipe. And go. Then we can get rid of this part. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know if you actually get more throughput. Oh, I should check. 
Why not? If we have a steel pump, I wonder if it's as easy as this to check throughput. Let's say max water on this end and a set number of pipes and then something to delete the water and we should see some amount of pumping speed and then if we have fewer pipes it should be higher which it is and then if we just change it to steel pipe 12.43 per second. It does go fa Yeah, it does go faster. At first I thought it was because, like, when we upgraded it, we instantly emptied the pipes or something. When we swapped them, but no. Um, that is something that I only half expected. We do get probably 25% more throughput or maybe something approaching 25% more throughput because there's 25% more storage space in the pipes interesting all right definitely something to bear in mind in the future now then um how much water does this make a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. 302 iridium powder per second is actually 10 stacks. Wait, what? How much did you say? Uh... Three... 300... And two iridium powder a second. Okay. Um, I guess... I, I guess we can do 180 down the middle here? That is filtered, right? No, it's not. Uh, yeah, so we need like 3.5 belts. I could also do a filtered output belt. Uh, don't tell me I just barely haven't left room for it. Couldn't I move these pipes back a little bit? I wonder if I want this part to fit. Hmm. I could move these back one. That's probably all it takes. And then... Uh, once again, filtered... How much would the difference be? If the middle can do 180 per second, whatever the, this is, minus 90. Uh, 61.2 per second, that's more than half a belt. So I would need splitters to merge these as well. Can I fit that? Not really? Maybe? If I put undergrounds here, it might be a little bit easier and neater. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an improvement. 
In fact, let me just put this here. So then this goes here. And if we repeat it... Yeah, that should work just fine. Uh, this one might be a little... a little bit different. Not this one. This one down here. I could probably just move this back up. Make it consistent. Yeah, uh, these can actually go up a tile. Which makes it a little bit easy to see what we're doing. I guess we'll need to balance this as well. Oh no. Didn't I make a squishy 4 to 4 balancer? I can't remember where it is though. Oh, I may have put it in the belt balancer book. Uh, not that I can see. Hmm. Never mind, I like it. Okie dokie. What is that emote? Oh, that's actually text. Okay, okay, okay. We need four to four, which looks like this normally. Skip three, put one in the middle. Pretty sure this one's supposed to be here, actually. So this goes here, 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 here. Yes, that's four to four. And how can we make it fit here, though? Can we make it fit there? This one goes straight through the middle one and then back out the sides. And this one also needs to find the side ones. What if this went here? And that's definitely not as small as it could be. Uh, we might be onto something. Emphasis might. That can't go straight through there. Right. We're, we're actually doing a 4 to 2 balancer is what I'm just realizing. So maybe... Maybe it's not so hard. I was pointing up to the comment, yes. Let me do this with blue belts so that we can actually see which way stuff is flowing. Ok, 
could have just done that with a blueprint, but oh well. Now then. While we physically need four belts for input, uh, we don't actually need... You know, we don't actually need everything to go to four specific belts. It just has to be equal on this side and this side. Which means we can cut out two of the splitters at the end. Whoops. So... This would go to this one, or to this one, or to this one, or to this one. Seems good. And then, can we make it smaller? Maybe... Probably not. Probably not in the symmetrical format that I'm thinking of here. Can we cut out one of the splitters in the middle? No, I don't think so. Well, okay, what's the... If we merge four into two like that, the problem is we're bottlenecking, but that otherwise accomplishes what we're looking for. Does that simplify it in any way? Don't think so. Hmm. I need half of this to go to this side and half of it to go to this side and vice versa. That's all we need to accomplish here. So, something like this. I think that's basically it, actually. Can we not bring that closer together somehow? I don't think so. So half of it goes to the... to this container, and half of it goes to this container. Yeah. No, that's actually... That's actually all we need. So... How about... It's not going to be perfectly symmetrical. I know, I know. But... We could maybe... Do something like this. And on the other side, basically same, same, but different. Let me just delete you real quick. And this goes here, I believe. And then this would go over here. And it... Oh. I forgot the part where we need to get the inputs from the middle. Hmm. That might turn out to be messier than expected. I guess I could just put another splitter here. And then that's going to look like spaghetti-tastic. does accomplish the goal of putting it in 50-50 from each of those three inputs. On the other hand, 
So I could just do it like this. That's going to be even worse, isn't it? Uh, but the general idea might be barking up the right tree. What if... What if, what if, what if... If that goes straight down there... And this one ends up over here... I'm just going to make it a little bit easier to see for the moment. I think that goes there. And then this one goes straight in here, and this one just goes over here. Could do worse, I guess. Yeah, we could definitely do worse than this. Give me those bulk rail loaders back. That doesn't look quite right, does it? There we go. Cool, cool. Can I make it look a bit less Cthulhu-esque? Is that, is that possible? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a idea, I guess. It's not too bad. Summon the Kraken, indeed. Alright, let's test this thing. Uh, I need to get rid of the water. And I haven't figured out how we're dealing with all of this yet. But I think I do know, actually. Um, that's kind of in the way. I could maybe move this over a bit. since we're not actually getting any inputs directly in here. Except maybe the beads. Hmm, where do I want to get the beads from? How about here, actually? That seems good. Can I move this back one tile? I think I can. Just so that that lines up very nicely. Uh, whoops. And then we can keep the input-output separate. Not like the other build. How much do we go through? 2.4k... I think I probably should have a pump over here. We'll just see how it goes and adjust accordingly. And on this side as well. And then we need the beads. How many beads do we need? Hardly any for input on this end. Uh, and then we need output for water, of course. 
and stone. Good thing we have this station over here. And how much water are we talking? 1.8k? Holy crap. Uh, I really want to move this over to the left one tile. We can do that. Uh, that belt might end up a little bit squiggly. It's probably fine. This goes here, and then this can go straight in here, and if we need a pump, we'll add a pump, it's fine. Let's see. Alright, so this is going to be stone and the other thing, water. Make it a high priority pickup. Uh, I'm obviously need to input the stone properly. Steel pipe limit? What do you mean? Okay. This goes here. Um, and we want... Well, what's the rate for everything but stone? Barely anything. We're net negative on... Well, okay, what comes out? 6.75 per second from one column. 6.75, yeah, 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 it's like, it's, it's nothing. And, yeah, actually, if I'm gonna have long arm inserters on this end, but then let's use, wait, no, long arm filters, long arm filters, no! Uh, superior long filter inserter, that's the yellow one. Uh, we want everything but crushed. I could do blacklist, but I'd rather it be more obvious at a glance what this is supposed to be doing. And we'll do the same thing with one of these. Why is that all? Oh, because I didn't limit this yet? But apparently I did. Maybe I miscounted. Also, why is there stone in there? Now, as for the stone... We want it going down this way. That's not stone. And I guess we'll put this here. And of course I would set that up so that that belt doesn't line up. If this is already going over this way, then we could probably flip this around. Trotsky, thank you very much almost for... Almost half a year. Almost half a year indeed. Thank you so much for the five months. Much appreciated. And welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Missed second from top output stone. Saw destiny. 
Okay, that means this one can go straight down here. And we'll just push it to the front, like so. And I imagine if I go... Provide stack threshold 100 and cut the front out of 10 stacks. Uh, the train will probably pick that up properly. We'll see. How fast do we meet? Do we even make this stone? Very fast. There's really no rush. Okay. And that's kind of quick. Oh, it looks like it's working. Oh, it looks like it's working. Well, how about that? Why is this output blocked? Oh, because we're full. Okay, that's a good reason. Get out of here. Okay. So it looks like the swap chests that don't have any smarts are... Some of them are accumulating a lot of beads, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I just realized this is going to, like, priority output all the iridium powder. And then... Yeah, it's, like, backing up here. So this one's output for iridium powder to the belt is blocked. So this inserter, fast as it is, swings and takes iridium powder out, but it's it's busy taking other things out. Huh. And I don't see a way that I could fit a fix for that. That's actually a problem. Damn, I thought this was such a nice build too. It's literally our superior inserter can't keep up with doing its job. Net 9.5... Oh wait, no. Discounting the iridium powder, it's... 18 plus 14 and a half out per second of two different resources. And this thing swings like, I think, 3.6 times per second? Yeah, 3.6 times 12 per second. 43.2 items per second that that inserter can take away theoretically. Um, and it's going to be a bit slower if we're picking up different items. Uh, so that's 32.48. Which leaves, what was it? Like, a bit over 10 per second that it can remove the iridium powder, in theory. But we're not seeing that in practice. Also, why did it stop? Because water... Oh, because water's full of... Holy crap, that makes sense, actually. Uh, I kind of wanted to put this here, but I guess not. Now it seems to be working? No, it's definitely getting blocked up. Uh, maybe I should just use more space. We've got like, we've got five tiles to the left that we could expand. And nothing lines up with this that's going to be a problem. Is it just catching up on the backup from before? I don't 
think so. For a second it looks like it, but... No. There's not much coming... There's actually almost no Iridium powder coming down the middle. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna have to change this. How do I change it? How do I change it? I could filter output everything but Iridium Powder for the swap chest, and filter output uh, Iridium Powder for the belt. And if we go a couple of tiles to the left here, we'll, we'll probably find room to do that. Probably. Make it stop. Okay. So... First of all... Let's move this out at least two tiles. And we could maybe... Hmm. I could probably do like a 4x4 four four chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually makes it a little bit easier over here. Uh, assuming that I can find room for the belt output for this one. And that's apparently a big assumption. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I'll move it another couple of tiles out. One, two. We can use long arms for this. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Pipes are still going to be the same. Well, I guess they don't have to be, actually. Yeah, it might help if they were. Was that not connected this whole time? Whatever. So basically we need a superior filter long arm. We're taking out everything but Iridium Powder. Let me just blacklist it, why not? And put everything in unconditionally. And have another... I guess I could bring it through here. There's probably no reason. Actually, it does kind of save us the trouble of splitters. Alternatively, I could use a inserter for this part. It's fine. might actually turn out to be a pretty cool build. Alright, so this goes here. And... something similar down here, I think. Do we have room for the inserters? We do not. We don't need it. It's fine. Backward again. Why are we bunking? Did 
Don't forget the chest for the second set of machines. Uh... Oh yeah, these two were supposed to share. Is that even possible? Mmm, probably. I could put these two together. How much does this output individually? 25. That's probably okay. Maybe. I'll try it. Oh, alternatively, this could go up here. One, two, three. That's perfect, actually. That is perfect. That definitely works and looks better. Cool. So I think uh, down here we're going to have the mirror image of that, right? Is that it? That looks pretty cool, actually. It's a rather large swap chest, but what are you going to do? Uh, where is this going to go? We need... Like, a splitter here, a splitter here, I think. Why is it only the purple belts that flip themselves around like that? The undergrounds. Alright, so this one has to go to both of these. This one has to go to both of these. Um, we could maybe go like this. And like this. Hmm. How about some kind of symmetry? That doesn't look too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Take two. And now we actually do need some more underground steel belt here. Uh, steel pipe, rather. And it can't keep up with the cation ion beads output, really. It's because it's picking up, like, two iridium powder at a time. Two, uh, sorry, two crushed at a time. So we don't get the, uh... Yeah, it keeps prioritizing, picking up the very small amount of crushed iridite that comes out. And then it doesn't pick up the beads until... Well, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. We just need to say beads and crushed. Question is, can we fit that? Everywhere that we've got these, and I think the answer is yes. Uh, 
And I guess I could always do belt input for the crushed. And the beads. We don't really need inserters at all, actually. What an absolute monstrosity. Look at this thing. That'll do it. All the throughput, indeed. Belt input can get jammed since it's not filtering on sides. Yeah, but the input from the sides are going to be slower automatically because inserters. The, uh, the belt input is continuous. The inserters stop and start. I suspect if I used belts, uh, fill, uh, sorry, loaders on this side to input, it would still work. But this is certainly working. Look at it go. Look at it go. That's what I want to see. Now, if we cut these off, we should see that these two are balanced. Seems like it. If I cut these off... Oh, whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. Cut this off, and then cut this off. Oh, that didn't look perfectly balanced as all things should be. I wonder why. I suppose it could jam in theory, but won't in practice. Yeah, I don't think it will. And also, we're keeping our swap chests empty. Very nice. This chest has 16 loaders around it. <laughs> Glorious. I think some loaders had the wrong direction. Which ones? Oh. Here we go. Copy, flip, paste. Seems good. Now, why are we not getting enough crushed iridite? Uh, is it because we're limited to one belt? To begin with? Yeah, we need 168 per second. Holy crap. Well, I guess I could put it here. No, this is fine. So, it was red wire, wasn't it? For the crushed iridite? Yeah. Pretty sure. One of these things is not like the other. Uh, we don't actually need to limit this input here for testing. Whoops. So let's make sure that stuff flows with no interruption. As it looks like it's slowly crawling backwards. And then we should... Hopefully, see all of these machines going full tilt. Oh, it looks like it is getting there. That is quite the monstrosity. I love it. 
Some machines on the left aren't spinning either. Yeah, it was because we mirrored it. We copied that mistake from there to there. And now they spin to win. And it doesn't look like we're having any trouble with the dirty iridium water. I mean, some of the machines would have stopped if we were. Tyranno fantastic. Fantastic, indeed. We go. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the eight months with Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome in. Uh, that's not blast cake, is it? That's powder. Oh, I'm actually excited. I'm, I'm actually excited to have the old crappy Iridium bills behind us. This is probably the last one we're ever going to need. Much excite. Okay. So is now the point when we figure out it's overbuilt by four times and needs a train every 12 seconds? No, I already calculated that. And we do need a train like every 12 seconds. Uh, it's 168 crushed iridite per second, which is 4.2 stacks per second, which means a train every almost 24 seconds. It's fine. No big deal. Uh, beads are a lot, are going to be a lot less of a problem. I didn't leave any other, like, cheat fluid deleters or anything like that, I don't think. Oh, I did. That's why water's only up to 53k here per tank. Question is, should we have a water flare stack or 10? I think the answer is probably yes. Because I could seriously see us not needing that much water anywhere else. At, not, at least not anywhere that we're supplying by train. Because if we need tons of water, we actually tend to just build next to the ocean. So, how fast... 1.8k per second. Can we put this under the beacon? Does it affect it? Oh, it does. That's good. And... Speed module? Nice. Alright, how much water can this delete? Where's the edge of the beacon? It can delete... 325 per second. Okay. What was our target again? Uh, 1.8k. Alright, so 5.5. Alright. Actually, no. Um, not alright. Put this over here. And that should be able to delete literally all the water from this place, if it comes to that. Uh, if water is greater than lots, get rid of it. This will actually be a good water source for out in the middle of nowhere. I believe you removed bead train request, maybe? Uh, probably. I hadn't done any of the requests for this one yet. 200, 100, times 2. How fast do we go through the beads? Net rate one less than, less than a stack per second. That's fine. We'll just ask for two train loads of beads. Uh, and we also need... With uh, nitric acid. We're only going through like 640 per second for that, so having a reserve of 40k should be more than enough. 
And then same thing for... Whoops. We need ourselves a request threshold for the fluids. Instead of 100k that, we need 100k this. Hydrogen chloride. And crushed iridite. We need it very fast, so I'll probably ask for like three or four train loads. And it's, it's the only solid we're dropping off here. So, 40, 40, 100, uh, how about times 3, 12k. And this is crushed, and hydrogen chloride goes into its advanced chemical plant. And out comes iridium powder. Uh, and this is... I'll pretty much name it the same way. Saying that we're making iridium powder here, because this thing's secondary. So what are we requesting? Beads? And nitric acid. Seems good. We've told LTN about our fluids. Apparently not. Um, and I'm pretty sure the wiring will work. So on the red wire is everything from this station, including what's in this chest. On the green wire is everything in this station, including in this chest. Um, we use the green wire to check for beads on this end. We use the red wire to check for crushed iridite on this end, because we're only interested in what's in this container when we stop and start these belts. And with the different wire colors, they won't cross-talk with the two stations. That should be fine. I think your fluid input tank is on... Uh, on the left is not connected to LTN. Yes, correct. It wasn't. Okay, I think that might be everything. That one doesn't need to be high prio. Uh, this one does. And... Yeah, that's it. Blueprint. Is it intentional that the water tanks are not all connected to LTN? Yes. Because I want the train to get filled up quickly. Okay. Powder. Of the iridium variety. In advanced chemical plants. Train stop names. Don't need tiles. 86.25.1. And... I need to roll back the... The module levels. Maybe this would be easier. What? How dare you? Uh, here. Speed frames. And that 
just leaves the beacons. Negative 70%, perfect. And this one's probably going to be a bit different. It's definitely going to be a bit different. Plus 490. Plus 310. Plus 40%. Minus 50%, that seems fine. Cool. Let's blueprint. Maybe I should have saved the version with max... Nah, that's fine. Advanced Iridium Powder. I'm so excited to see this get hammered by trains. <laughs> this is a... This is a family-friendly stream. Um... I don't think we've got any cheat items left. We're good. Uh, advanced chemical plant. Iridium powder. Cool, cool, cool. Snap 2 looks good. Where am I putting this? Over here, I guess? Yeah, this did literally everything. And I think we're ready. Uh, like, I think we're actually going to move Iridium to a new build now. And we can cut down on some of the trains if... Uh, if we flow some of this here directly. Didn't even realize the double meaning. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Alright, let's park ourselves over here. And probably we don't have filtration or something in the train right now. Iridium powder. Beautiful. I don't see anything wrong. I guess someone has a dirty mind? Definitely no one here. Not a single person. Probably going to need another trip for purple belts or something. Doesn't matter if that wire is not connected as far as LTN goes. I've run out of windmills. saw nothing. Yeah, we're definitely needing another trip from our construction train. Here comes the second train of beads. Oh, and while we're at it, do you think we should go for the, um, the dark, fancy floor? Could maybe try the light stuff? Oh, that's, no, bad, not good, ouch, get it off my eyes. That's not so good either. 
regular concrete. Yeah. Refined concrete. No, it's gotta be. It absolutely has to be the black reinforced. That's much better. Dark fancy, indeed. Uh, where are we going? Here we are. Wait for inactivity. And we need another trip from our train. Really? Okay. Wait, don't tell me there are bots chasing it. Not that I can see. No, I think it's probably fine, actually. Yeah, it's still got 49 bots. Did it get its purple bell? Yeah. Wouldn't have made the light, uh, the sound if it didn't. Alright. Now that our big old train is on the way. Whoops. Uh, let's park this thing down here for a second. Cool. I think the build is functional now. Now why are we not getting crushed iridite delivered here? Let's turn off the old iridium processing blocks. I'll be happy to deconstruct those. Why do we have no reinforced... Oh, I think I know the answer. Probably because I switched it off. That's... that's probably why. You'll be back. Um, so when do we get more crushed iridite? Relatively soon. Yeah, uh, this build is going to be able to consume the crushed iridite a little bit faster than we create it. Even with the tier 3 modules. It's going to be going to be just a wee bit faster, I think. Just a, just a tad smidge. Core Fragment Iridite is not here. Why not? Where's the Iridite drop-off? That's stone. This one is Iridite, it just looks kind of like stone. There's plenty of Iridite here. So what's going on? Do we need more trains? Probably. Yeah, I dare say we need more trains moving erudite. There's only one of them. Let's fix that. Back to the mall. Home, James. Squirrel time? No, no squirrels. 
I really want to get this playthrough tidied up to the point where we don't have quite so many squirrels. I won't claim that we can get it down to zero. Lebiz, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There we go. Alright, on your merry way with you. Up the elevator you go. And why don't we make another one, just to be sure. I know erudite is slower than other resources, so... Who knows, maybe three is overkill already. But... There is no overkill, there's only open fire, and I need to reload. Alright, up the elevator with you, please. Cool, cool, cool. And we should see... Erudite moving a bit faster now. Where's the other trains? Uh-oh, what's this? There's a little bit of traffic. It doesn't seem too bad yet. You know, maybe I should have planned my whole base around two space elevators. Mm, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we got some motion on the other side now. That's something. We are creeping towards our first train load of crushed over here. Good job, concrete train. That's definitely a lot easier on the eyes than any of the other floor backgrounds for this build. Speaking of which, I should probably continue uh, paving the world. Why don't I start over here, right next to the concrete train? Did it actually finish it this time? Looks like it did. Fantastic. Where's our crushed erudite? I think it's coming. Wait, no, don't tell me. No, no, no. Come on, come back, come back. There's another... <laughs> There's a third... Uh, old iridium ingot build that I forgot. Oh no. So how's it gonna how long is it gonna be until we have another train load of this? Not that long. Yeah, I think we just fixed a bottleneck. I think we we just might have fixed a bottleneck there. Cool cool cool. Uh but I really want to see this thing start working. Okay, how long is it going to be? We can do something productive in the meantime. If we assume that this is going to go full speed, it's less than one stack per second, and we've got like, let's call it 50 stacks to go. So about a minute. Okay. What else are we focusing on in just one minute? Who knows? How's... Oh. 
Is something good or is so Holy crap. Oh my god. 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 Someone someone fetch my fainting couch. Vitamelange is saturated. Completely saturated. Please tell me it's for good reasons. Vitalic acid is saturated. Okay, what about this? Vitalic reagent it why is this please don't tell me this is why what the uh... the trains haven't been taking vitalic reagent because it set the train limit to one an ltn train came to pick this up and then I thought it would be something like this, but I was hoping it would at least be in space somehow. So how quickly are we going to go from completely saturated with, our, um, with everything up to the point of reagent to Vidamelange is crying again? That's the question. Good morning, Mr. Dane. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How are you guys doing? Not too badly. Pretty well, actually. Alright, we should probably do some nice lore over here as well. Um, how much reach does this have? Oh, almost all of it. Probably leave that to its own devices for a minute. Packed Sardine, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was that view where I was... How did I have a view where I was, like, moving the screen around by... Oh, it's... Yeah, it's the map zoomed in. That does make sense. Thought so. Smooth. I'm not used to panning around like this in Factorio. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't actually take very long. For how precious this stuff is, it doesn't take very long to make another train load. Let's see, 5,000 over 16. 300 seconds per train load for this. In a world where we can actually keep up with the Vitamelange extract demand. Hmm. Maybe that should be purple. But yeah, we could make that purple belt. It's only going to matter... When we're working off a backlog like this. Oh crap, that's... that's green. Get rid of all that. And use the upgrade planner. Just like that. In fact, we can just do it like this, can't we? Construction train, I require your services forevermore. And where's our iridite? Oh, there's a train on the way. Oh, there's a train on the way. Big brain. <laughs> Cut and true, welcome in, if I didn't say so. And I saw someone else. Heretic, welcome in also. I miss building squares. My current run, if it fits, it sits, doesn't look quite the same. Indeed. Even more so what? Wait, what? Oh, here, here it is. It's happening. It's happening. Everyone stay calm. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's that's a lot of powder. 
Holy jeebus. Uh, I think I must have missed the first train load that came in here, actually, judging by how quickly this fills up. Maybe? So, do we not have a request for powder over here? Oh, well, there's your problem. There's your problem. If, uh, if our train is finished over here, which it pretty much is... Well, let, let's get it to finish this part first. I'll switch it back to... Oh, it's already got black reinforced plate. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I like how... I like how the powder is cycling without the red stuff. It goes through a train load so quick that we end up seeing a gap in the belt. Assuming another train doesn't come immediately, that is. Many trains. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna run some belts, since these two are next to each other. We're gonna run some belts directly from here to here. We obviously don't need trains for this part. But I like to build the blueprint in a modular way. Alright, there's our blast cake. Let's, uh, let's head over there. And run that little patch. Oh, some bots are just getting back. I wonder why that is. I didn't give it enough time to, for the bots to catch back up to the train, that's probably why. Running belts between blocks is cheating? Hey, wait a minute, you cheated. Why is there so much in the purple chests over here? I think I'm regretting somewhat making this one big robot network. Because the bots are not keeping up with this nonsense. Not even a little bit. Have more planets to screw up? Nice, nice. Too late for squares. <laughs> Carry on without me. Can we finally get this thing reset properly? Pretty please? Wanna go? I need to learn please in more than... Bitter, bitter. There we go. I knew I knew it in at least three languages. Hey, it worked. Alright. Once this thing has finished loading, let's head over... I can't even remember what I needed this for. Oh yeah, the belts. We're gonna need some... Some controlled inputs here. Where's my pup belt? Just like... Just like this? Okay. Off we go. Actually, actually, wait there for me, please. And we'll probably just switch off this pickup station. How's our spell elevator traffic? Probably a bit better after I did that run on Iridium. 
Yeah, it seems okay. Cool, cool, cool. We've still got a lot of bloom to work through. So maybe we've actually got... Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe we've actually got some science up here. We've still got the same half a train load of AI cores as we had before. Um, but we're making bioelectric data. Very cool. That means we've recently made a uh, significant biomass. What's the theoretical demand of this thing? <laughs> Nearly a stack of vitalic reagent per second? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Not for a while, at least. I would need three of these. One and a half blocks to keep up with just that. Uh, and we would need an obscene amount of... We, we would need 345 extract per second. That's a large number. That is not a small number. Okay. Why are we not building purple belts? What? What? What did... No. No, this is wrong. Uh, I'm going to borrow these two for a second, just so that I can put some settings here. And we're just going to say Iridium Powder less than, I don't know, one stack is probably fine. Make it like a hundred. That way, even if trains were delivering the powder, it wouldn't cause problems. So where's our purple belt? Or rather, where's our express loaders, actually? Why do we not have... We do have express loaders, they're just not in this chest. Are they all in here? Are we trying to make more? I think they're all in here. I see 59. Okay. So I just need to bump it up. Above the amount that's whitelisted in here. Let's make it like 200. Why not? Cool, cool, cool. So as soon as that ticks over to the new set of recipes, uh, we should see express loaders getting made. There we go. There we go. Nice. And that will mean we get some in our train. For the moment, I'm just going to set this to 37, so that we can put everything else in. Which, I'm really just looking for the purple belts. That should be fine. Wait, I need the purple undies. Yeah, there we go. Get over yonder, please. Wait for passenger present. Do you enjoy Factorio? Somewhat, yes. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mr. JJ, Lawful Eagle, welcome in also. Can you only have one smell evader per surface pair? I believe you, I, I believe it's two. That's what I've heard anyway. I haven't tried it. Alright, there's our blast cake. Again, I probably shouldn't have had the station turned off for so long. Eh, it's going to catch up. It's fine. Probably. Wait, how much does this process? 
268 per second. This can't even remotely keep up with that block. So yeah, we're not going to have lost any time there. Last cake, go burr. And we're almost halfway. Let's see, it stacks to 50, I believe. So about 90 seconds or something to get one train load. That looks about right. Oh, there's blast cake over here as well. Of course. Well, that's going to make it take a little bit longer to reach the threshold of a train load. But we're almost... We're like three and a half fifths of the way there already. Do we have our train ready? We do. Let's make some... Probably going to put down... The, the dark flooring again for this area. Who did this? How dare you. Oh, what a mess. Why are you like this? Because there's an old power pole over there. And lighted pylon substation. Fantastic. That one's going to sort itself out when I delete the old stuff. How did this get so imbalanced? Not that it matters. Oh, I guess it makes sense, actually. No mineable resources. And this one's Dunsky as well. Ow. I forgot that's in, that's the entire reason I was mining this tiny little patch. It didn't actually knock me out of the air. Interesting. Alright. Did we already convert all of that to blast cake? Oh, 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 a train took it away. There it is. There's our ingots. Already we've got like six stacks in here, and we've been converting some of them to plate. Very nice. Although, I'm noticing that this inserter is not entirely necessary. Very cool. I think it's fair to say we've shifted the bottleneck for iridium ingots. Alright, let's get ourselves some black reinforced plate down here. Very good. That's going to take a little while actually. The bots are going to get slower and slower as they go. It seems like they're a lot more responsive to the to the ghosts if they're in range when we place it. Probably goes to the back of some queue if nothing can reach it. Yeah, that was actually way quicker than usual. Uh, we've already gone through all that blast cake, and we've got 
164 ingots and half a train load of iridium plate to show for it. Nice. Uh, I was going to set this actually to limit itself. Can I push this back this way? Limit itself to like 20 or 30 stacks. How about half a train load? I kind of want to see a train pick this stuff up and see what the timing is like. We have a train out of fuel? Probably on Nalvis. It's in Hagen orbit. How did this happen? Uh. Oh. It would probably help if we charged some batteries. Okay then. I know where I've got some batteries. Make a virtual rule that a second elevator must be in a disconnected second city block network on the planet? No. And the two networks only connect via a large cargo bolts on natural large cargo boats on natural oceans. No. Alright, where am I charged? Oh that's a lot. Space train power packs. Let's go upstairs. Up we go. And down here, please. Okay. First of all, why is it not putting in the charged power packs? Is it because the train is technically leaving? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought I left you on manual. You are on manual. What? What? What the? What? Halt! That was very weird. Where did those core fragments just go? Are they floating here? Is that all of them? Uh, okay, anyway. You've got charged power packs now? Good. I can't believe I forgot to have the, uh, the power packs get charged. Oh, I did have the power packs get charged. It's just that this needs to be a... There needs to be a requester over there. That's why. Oops. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did with that mistake. I imagine one charger is enough. Then again, this train's kind of... Uh, we ended up... Yeah, no, we ended up with a lot more traffic in this place than expected, because it sort of became the default landing place. So... How about another one of these here? And we can have all these. That should probably be sufficient. Down the elevator with you. And I think this thing is set to steal away the destroyed power packs. Yes, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, 
Yeah, that train's going to be moving all the time. It might even be a good idea to have another. Nah, probably not. Definitely not. I want this to be the exception, not the rule. That looks okay, except why is there so much barrel? Barrel core fragment processing. I want to... Ask for double this. And train limit is one if there's less than 6k. So LTN train we can actually prioritize when it comes to drop-offs. By setting the request higher, and then setting train limit 1 when we drop below 6k here, the LTN train will actually be waiting before a vanilla train is a la- what the? What? 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 Oh, there's another one like this, right. That was the one I just changed, right? Yeah, seems good. So then this guy should be able to... Train limit 320? What? Huh? Set train limit core fragment barrel. Core fragment barrel 1 is our output. Well, it's actually not outputting anything. So how the hell does it have a train limit of 320? And why is it not... What? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, you're kidding! We're actually saturated on barrel, that's why. I... I have to admit, that was... That was not the problem that I was expecting. I... I did expect that some of our builds... would actually... be completely saturated, like some of our materials. Uh, but I just wasn't expecting this... this soon. Hmm... well this raises a problem. Because the way things are set up... We're gonna end up with one resource or another where... We've got trains... Trying to drop off barrel core fragments. We're, the ships will have stopped trying to get barrel core fragments. There might be one or two or three or four waiting to drop off barrel core fragments here, but um, otherwise, it, you know, that sorts itself out. We're not going to be sending a ship to pick up barrel core fragments until this changes. Oh. Oh, no. Because our exception handler acts like a generic drop-off, we're gonna have some barrel throughput, no matter how saturated we are. But, like, we're gonna have some spaceships bringing barrel. Like, the spaceships that are trying to drop off barrel uh, over here, waiting for it to not be completely saturated, are going to be allowed to land down here, which is supposed to be the exception handler. But I couldn't find a way to have, like, a default landing place that the bugged ships would land at that wouldn't cause other ships to land here. To be honest, I was expecting a ship to immediately land here. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's fine. Well, sometimes it's fine. It's only the moment that they arrive. Uh, because there's a moment when they are not receiving from the memory cell where they're supposed to land. They only get that information once they arrive at their destination. So if they get to their destination and it's blocked... This barrel, for example, is not going to end up at our generic drop-off. 
So it's not going to be as bad as all that, but we are getting... We've got more than... We've got two and a half train loads of barrel core fragments here. That is going to be a problem. I think I actually... Unless I'm going to completely overhaul the way we drop off fragments, and even then it might just be shifting the problem to have the exact same issue later on. Um, I think I need to hurry up and do matter fusion? So matter fusion turns particle stream and a tiny bit of matter synthesis data into whichever resource we want plus a bunch of other crap that we have to deal with. Maybe it would be better to do that in space, even though the ore needs to come down. There's so many other things that I wouldn't want to take up and down the elevator though, like literally everything else in these recipes. Uh, so we've got, we can research the means to well, first we need matter science packs. Uh, but technically we can research the means to turn particle stream into roughly whatever we want. Or at least a few things. Iron, copper, stone, rare metals, and uranium. Pretty much all the basic solids. Except for coal. Uh... Oh, no, there's another tier. We can make exotics out of it. Okay, good to know. Uh, and both of them just need... Well, this one needs energy four. Hmm. It's going to take a really big sit down to design all of this, because we need to do it all at once. A balancing system so that if we're totally saturated on something or other, we can turn it into something we don't have. It also costs immense amount of power. It's probably kind of slow as well. Maybe I should just keep crushing the excess for the moment. The question is, do I want to start... I think I have to. I think I have to start crushing excess barrel, for example, and probably all of the other core fragments eventually. I mean, unless we just happen to never ever saturate on one or the other type of core fragments. Hmm. Also, our methane storage is almost full. Hmm. I think I... Oh god, that iron is still here? Get out of here. You bother me. This might... I might end up leaving patches of iron... on the ground at this rate. Oh, I forgot to put the oil tag here. This is definitely one of the updated builds. Uh, the other reason that we need barrel to flow, even if it's actually completely saturated right now, is the outposts get resupplied by the ships that pick up the core fragments. So not only are we missing out on regular core fragments and everything that, and stone and everything that that can supply, by not processing more barrel core fragments. Uh, but the way I've got things set up, we're also not... If this got slow enough, if it lasted long enough this way, uh, we would also actually be not resupplying cables and stuff to the barrel outposts. Because I've got it programmed so that the, the ships that pick up core fragments are the ones that bring cables and ammo and such. Where was that other barrel outpost that we had? I think it was Wexavis? 
Oh, there's a lot in Waxivis now. Is this guy okay? This guy is not okay. Uh, I think he needs rescue. Even though he's got solar power. What? How did you... What? Really? Really, really? Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Almost there. Almost there. Good boy. Alright, we got steam. We've got accumulator charge. We've got a destination. It's fine. Spiriso orbit. In the wax of his system. Uh, how many cables do you have left? It's not that alarming, but it's a little bit alarming. Okay, then. Uh, I kind of need to move this rail. I, I could put one of these blocks over here, I guess. Is this one done, actually? Yeah, it is. Let's, let's grab the decon train. And... That whole system is actually separate from everything. <laughs> All of these wind turbines have been doing absolutely nothing. 2.5 thousand of them. That's... that's cool. Well, not nothing. They've been running... Wait, are they linked to the main network? I don't... think so. No, oh, this is literally just running off of wind turbines. And there's actually enough. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. A couple of mines, or one mine, and a uh, core drill. Fascinating. Anyway, I guess we can remove this now. And put down a rail block. Construction train might be needed. Well, it definitely will be for this part. Where's my blueprint for it? Russia? That's not quite right. Storage Mark 3. Is this the one? Uh, I think it might be. Yes. Okay. On Storuction Train. Why do we have a crisscross here? Why you gotta be like that? Okay. Much better. How many modules do we have? 20, another 27 speeds, 77 prod sixes. That reminds me, I completely forgot to deliver the prod sixes. Uh, how many did we need for all of these? Six eights, 48. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go grab those prods. Gimme, gimme. All right, up the elevator we go. No traffic. And park me over here, if you please. Okay. 
Beautiful. We're at tier 6 prod for the lamps. Nice. Let's go home for a sec. And what comes next? Lots of iridium ingots. Very cool. Oh, wait. If I'm gonna do that, I need to... Why did I even limit this one? That doesn't make sense, actually. There we go. Now I get to witness this train working. Oh, cool, cool. So I want to see how quickly it fills up. Oh, that's almost perfect. That's actually really, really good. Um, I think I could probably make it like 30 stacks. So that we could set a provide stack threshold of 100 and we're not going to have a train stuck here. Because stuff flowed from the front to the back. Oh. oh. Okay then. That might actually happen this time. Why is... Oh, it looks like it's flowing backwards. It's not actually... It's not actually flowing backwards. It's fine. What do we got left over here? I can't mouse over it. I can't... I can't tell... Entity, Uranium. We have 9.1k here. Shouldn't take too much longer to get rid of. Probably. Um, so yeah, I need to make... Uh, I need to send this guy home. Where's our construction train? I need to make a system to get rid of barrel primarily. But also... I guess while I'm at it, I'll set up the other, like, basic... Excess resources? Uh, uh, not excess, that's not the word I'm looking at. The the low tier exotic resources like Holmium, etc. So we're, ba we're basically making a storage for it. It's a low priority drop off and a high priority pickup. And only if it gets very, very full do we start to take away some of the excess stuff to get it crushed. That will allow the core fragments to continue to be processed, which gives us more regular core fragments, which gives us more all the basics, um, and a little bit of stone on top of that as well. Uh, and more importantly, we're not going to have problems like all of these trains waiting to drop off barrel core fragments indefinitely. And the spaceship's not resupplying the barrel outposts. Actually, let me do concrete for this one. Wait, was that concrete? Yeah, it's concrete. Concrete train. Um, please park over here, I guess. Wait, do you have regular concrete right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you got? You do. Fantastic. It's actually taking a little while to build.
Mostly because the bots have to travel. Okay, so which way do I want to do this? Um, let's see. We could do them in order. I think we... We don't dump cryonite. We dump cryonite powder. For some reason. I think it was because... Because I decided to process cryonite on the spot because the stack size is so small. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're already doing cryonite. Uh, what comes next? Vulcanite. Raw emesite, beryl, holmium. There's actually a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six of these we need to make. Uh, I think I'll just add them as I need them. Let's put barrel over here. Barrel. What was that number again? 20k. It's just an example, but still. That's four train loads. Uh, I can only actually... F oh, I can fit six train loads. That's fine. If you backed up on beryllium, why not crank out astrocytes? That's not the worst idea ever. Let's do some more zone discovery. But I do need to deal with this anyway. We need things to work without intervention. Uh, I didn't actually set this up yet. Oh, I didn't switch it on, that's why. Uh, I'm not actually planning on dumping a fluid here. We'll leave that as it is for now. Barrel. And this one, I think, stays the same no matter what. Yes. Uh, and this one, we can just give it a name. Barrel. Okay, so switch that on. We should immediately have barrel being delivered. Why not put vulcanite next to cryonite? Uh, well, I guess, sure, why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's put barrel... Where do I want to put barrel, even? Cryonite and Vulcanite, and that leaves... One, two, three, four, five... I think I'll leave the raw emesite by itself. I'll put barrel next to, like, Holmium, I guess. I doubt we're ever going to be dumping bit of lunch. Actually, we might be. Because when it backs up, it's going to back up fast. Could put the pinkish ones next to each other and Beryl and Iridite next to each other. Let's put Beryl over here. Beryl goes here. And that should be that. And then change the name of this station. Uh, back to the default. I've got the default lying around. And same for this one. Now, can I get the trains to go over here? I just need to get rid of the temporary stops. The ones that are no pathing have the tap stops. Nice and easy. And then we put this back. Let's make it Vulcanite. Sure, why not? Put 
And we should avoid any trains landing over here, I think. I might need to pick it up and put it back down again to make the... Oh, no. Oh, no, we need stuff. Uh, why... Why do we need stuff? Wait for inactivity. Meanwhile, let's give it some concrete. They, they go from left to right, I guess. Maybe I'll bear that in mind next time I place the train to put all this stuff down. Because this is going to take as long as possible, I think. Does it make a difference? Hmm, it's getting faster. Maybe it doesn't make a difference. Alright, our construction train should be on the way back now. Yes, it is. And go. Oh, it's already on the job. Nice. Apparently we're still not... Oh, right, I forgot. I told it to pick up 37... Um blue loaders because we were short but that shouldn't be a problem now all right so this one's going to be barrel and i want this one to be iridite it's very different in detail doop a doop we found it on the moon Probably don't care. Uh, let's put Holmanite up here. And raw emesite over here. And that leaves Vitamelange still. Here comes our boy. Uh, you can probably go home now. And there goes our barrel. So basically the barrel flows straight from the drop-off through this station into the pickup. And then only if the intermediate station here reaches a certain point. Oh, we need some lamps. Well, we don't really need the lamps, but I would prefer to see them there. How about... Put some lamps here. Where's our train? Whoops. Whoop. Nope. 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 There we go. Perfect. And away it goes. Yeah, so only if we end up with 32,000... It depends on the stack size, doesn't it? 640. Yeah, 32,000. Uh, these two have to be completely full to trigger a train coming to trash barrel. Otherwise, we're just going to store it. And that has cleared up our train problem. Which means we'll keep processing core fragments, barrel core fragments, and getting vanilla core fragments out of them as well. Uh, I don't know why we don't have more trains delivering over here right now, though. Even if this is negative pro oh. You know what? I think this should pr probably... This should probably have purple belts. I mean, it's probably good enough in the long run, but it really is quite trivial to update these belts. Let's do that. Might need a few trips to make it happen. Let's start with the barrel.
and then about here after you get reloaded. That should get it all done. Yeah, that's that's a lot of barrel that needs to be moved. Alright, there's another train coming now. Actually, it's doing this block at the same time, so I don't think it will get this one finished. You, you failed to do the one thing that I sent you here to do. Cool. Lovely. Wonderful. Good job. Good job. The blue belts are still there. Ah, okay. And now the bots have to chase it back as well. It's not too far to go, at least. It's going to reset itself. I think it would... Oh. I was going to say I think it would be faster if I head over there myself, but it turns out I'm in orbit. Jay, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Turns out I am not on the ground. Yeah, well, on the plus side, we get to see our system of rebalancing the bots working. As they keep slowly floating back. doop doop Oh yeah, I forgot to check out that moon. We've got Balix and Octarine. Uh, that's almost close enough to be good. And it's iron, and it's a... it's big for a moon. Huh. What options do we have for iron? We haven't had any trouble with iron this playthrough. Not since we got here at Hagen. Uh, we've actually got a 5k radius planet that's 7% solar, which means it's very close to the interstellar map. But that moon was... Here it is. Uh, Balix. It's almost as big. 29,000 Delta V. Um, so it's 20,000 to go to Foenestra and then come and reappear somewhere else. Yeah, I think it has to be like sub 25, 24, 23k for it to be an improvement. So... Jeroen is better. It's in the Tanius system. It's over here. Oh yeah, that is nice and close. That's almost as good as it gets. Nice short trip for our spaceships. We don't have the ideal planet to get iron from. But that's pretty decent. But yeah, we're really not having trouble with iron anyway. Uh, what else was I doing? Did we get our purple... Where's our train? It's finished... No, wait, no it hasn't. It's going back. And we've got a bunch of bots hovering again. Cool. Probably would have been faster if I went there myself. You know what, we really need to move this barrel, so yes. I will do exactly that. And it looks like we are going to see this thing completely filled. Pretty soon, actually. So we'll see the trash system working. I made a little LTN-like lighting system. Uh, basically... Let's see. If anything equals 32k, yellow signal. 
uh, and this lights up with the yellow light. So once the train is on its way here, or should be on its way here, we got a yellow light. Uh, if blue equals zero output yellow light input count between these, it's a memory cell. So that goes round and round in circles. It holds, it remembers the yellow. And then train ID is blue signal. So train limit yellow signal, train ID blue. So once the train actually gets here, the light goes blue. Uh, and it remembers that that it should allow a train to be here until it leaves. I blew all my savings on building a PC. Make me feel better. Um, congratulations on your new PC. Does that work? I hope it's a good PC. I hope you dodged all of the traps. Where's my purple belt? I'm, I'm looking for loaders specifically. Well, I know where to get them. Or do I? Apparently we don't have any. Give me that. Oh, probably because I only had a limit of like 50. Get in there. Thank you, thank you. It is decent. My first. Nice. Did you build it yourself? Boop -a -doop. We've got... I don't think I looked at Octarine yet. And then Gelos. Octarine is tiny. It is very close, though. But we've already got tiny and even closer iron core fragment. And it's a little bigger as well. If we want iron core fragments from tiny moons, I think I'll go to Indigo and Shiva instead. They are a stone's throw away. Still haven't parts are here. I'll be using my TV as a monitor for now. Nice, nice. What was the name of that? Gelos. Gelos. It is rare metals. I don't think we're... Ooh... Okay, I don't think we're ever going to need to tap rare metal core fragments directly. Um, but that said, it's decent size and nice and close to the interstellar map. Oh, never mind. We've got a much, much, much better one in the Angular system. It's called Alk or Alki. Where is Angulus? Angulus. Oh, it's way over here. Uh, but yeah, we emerge from the warp. And uh, almost 7k radius. It's right there. That's pretty good. Ooh, 10k radius uranium. That's not bad either for the travel distance. We don't need to pick up uranium that often either. Maybe... Maybe that's where I'll get my uranium from. Hmm. And we do indeed have a train coming to pick this up. Uh, or so, or so I thought. I think I need to update the station name for the trash stations here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's supposed to be this one. Here it comes. It's just waiting for traffic. Why is it waiting so long for traffic? There we go. And then... Let me in. Full cargo, let's get out of here. And we drop it into the crushers, which have nothing but speed modules in them. Probably, be oh, look at that cute little blue inserter. 
Yeah, the crushes aren't that fast. The whole block... If it's barrel... I don't know if the recipe... If the crushing time changes. We've got 48 of these. They can crush 134 barrel per second. What the heck is this? Get out of here. And... I... You know what? Oh no, where is that going? Oh no. Where are you taking that scrap? Sir? This is a Wendy's. Oh no. Alright, I guess the scrap is going to the mall. Guess it's going to the mall. Okay. Oh yeah, I meant to drop off superior loaders. Why did that happen up here? Yeah, that's still not enough. Does our train have them yet? It does not. Why is it taking so long? Because we don't have superior belt. Oh, let me guess. But we do have superior belt. Do I not have a request for it in here? I don't. Okay. Okay. Should probably put the request for green belt in. It's it's already in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Upper belt. Uh, that's the only one that's a prerequisite out of these ones, right? How much belt does it take? One. Okay. I think we can just keep that request quite small. And then whitelist it somewhere. Found another moon. It is called Haze. We did look at Gelos, right? We did. Haze is too tiny to bother with. It's also really far away. Oh, cool. Right, so... Uh, barrel core fragments have been in motion. I guess they're moving about as quickly as... Huh about as quickly as we're crushing them. We need those purples. There we go. That should get all three of those blocks built and updated. Fantastic. That's a lot of range. That is really a lot of range. Oh, these ones are almost done. Well, they're like half done. A lot of traffic around here. I should probably connect these blocks. Speaking of which, that requires construction train. Please do this first.
Oh yeah, I should probably just make more storages for crude oil. Apropos of anything else. Why are you hovering? I guess it'll sort itself out. Okay, here's the problem. I kind of set this thing up so that there would only ever be one train. Assuming that would be enough. Oh, it did get the batteries updated. Cool, cool, cool. How do the batteries fare? Quite well, I think. Very well, actually. Maybe I'll have to come up with something even faster? Oh, we're trashing coal, really. Why are we trashing coal? Are we really getting that much coal from core fragments? I don't think we've... I haven't made a coal mine in forever. I know we're getting it from oil, but still. I haven't even updated this build yet. We can have advanced chemical plants. Converting the excess light oil. Into petroleum. Speaking of which, I should check on our oil. Oh, it's it's very good. It is super fine. Haven't had a problem with that in a while. We've discovered Abyssal. That is a tiny coal moon, and it's kind of far away. Hmm. Maybe I should build some giant complex that spans multiple blocks so we can have belts deal with the uh, excess of whichever resource why is our construction train still here did it finish its job really Still no? How many... How many uh, loaders do we have on this thing? 80. Okay, that's more than a stack for one block. Uh, understandable, I suppose. I'll let you live this time. Wait, why are you crushing barrel? Because barrel core fragments are not flowing... So, we're missing out on regular core fragments, and stone, and everything that comes from regular core fragments, and we end up with a bunch of trains trying to drop off barrel core fragments that can't, uh, and we end up with spaceships not visiting the barrel core fragment outposts, and therefore not resupplying the, uh, the space elevator cables and stuff. Whenever you deal with core fragments, uh, there is going to be some excess of some kind that you have to get rid of in order to keep getting the rest. So, if our storage for rare metals fills up, we're not going to be getting uranium, we're not going to be getting stone, we're not going to be getting coal, copper, iron, crude oil, mineral water, or pyroflux. Uh, from the core fragments. So we get rid of the rare metals if the storage fills up. That's how it be. I wonder how many... Um, 
Regular core fragments we've been processing. Oh, line go up. That's just in the last hour. Last 10 hours, 2.2 thousand per minute. That's quite a lot, actually. Oh, was that produced or consumed? It should be the same, shouldn't it? Despite... Yeah, uh... No? They're actually very different. How is that? Last hour... No, they look to be about the same there. Okay, yes, they are the same. It's just moment to moment, but they're not the same. Cool, cool, cool. And judging by the... I should have kept that up. Uh, judging by the consumption graph... Oops, what am I looking for? Uh, all of those... Like, we've got a straight line up the top when it's consuming the maximum. The fact that we've got gaps is actually a good thing for the regular core fragments, because we have to be able to process all of them. Otherwise, other builds stop. Has a Vit Famine returned yet? Uh, good question. It has not. Still churning out bloom like crazy. Uh, let's look at extract. That's a pretty good indicator. Oh. That's a spike. Hey, we've been producing more than we've been consuming extract. For like half an hour or so? Interesting. Oh. Oh my. We've actually shifted the bottleneck for Vitalik Reagent. Now we don't have enough lithium chloride. Oh my goodness, it's on ye old chemical plants. We found Lothar. Lothar. That is pretty small and pretty far away. Not interested. Uh, but yeah, is that our only build for lithium chloride? I think it might be. It, I'd be surprised if it wasn't, actually. It served us well for a very, very long time. 41 lithium chloride per second, and this one build is asking for 144. Uh, yeah, we need, we need that times... 3.5, assuming that we can keep up with hydrogen chloride. And we might have finally found a big sink for mineral water. Okay, um, let's update. I didn't do it already, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. It, it should be pretty straightforward. Chloride. Basic lithium, yeah. I think that's our build right there. Alright, let's do not so basic lithium. We're gonna need advanced chemical plants. We're gonna need beacons. We're going to need lithium chloride, and it only has fluid inputs on one side. I think we're going to have to do that same layout again. Something like this. Uh, 
first of all. Oops. First of all, that can go there. We need some. Let's build it for maximum prod modules. Uh, maximum modules, rather. I believe we need one more efficiency. Plus 300%. Minus 80% power consumption. Fantastic. And then. Unloader goes here. Wait, that's the wrong one. Uh, unloader goes here. Kind of want that to be in the middle. It already is. Can we put you here? We cannot. That is unfortunate, but we have a solution. How about this? Cool, cool, cool. And down here as well. What kind of rate do you suppose we'll have if we go this far? Six hundred and four per second, and it wants three point three six thousand <laughs> mineral water per second. I think this will be enough, you know. Um, We would need a fluid train almost every, well, faster than every 18 seconds. I think that's, uh, I think that'll do. Oh, and that's not counting dropping off the hydrogen chloride. So we definitely want to make sure we have fast drop-offs. Uh, there's only one solid to drop off, so we can just take it from each side. Oh, no, there's, there's zero solid drop-offs. What am I saying? Let's go with loader down here. And... Might take a break soon. Uh, I think that's a bit too fast for the... For the shared chest. Let's just have long trains only pick this up. And we'll use a splitter down here. Wait a sec, that's way too fast for a single purple belt. We need four? Uh, we need four purple belts. Three and a bit to support this. Okay then. Alright. You want to play rough? Uh, let's go with... We might need a merger here, actually. I've done this before. How did I lay it out? Probably something like this. And then, like so. Wait, wait, no. And we can do the same thing up here. Except we're going to swap these around. And this goes down here. That should be it. That's actually easy enough.
acá. Seems good. Easy enough. Uh, and because there's only fluid inputs, I didn't... Oh, how much fluid input is there? Ridiculous amounts of mineral water. And hydrogen chloride is nice and slow. Okay. In that case... In that case... What if... We pump? Sure, that's overkill. Dig, dig your no requiem. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could alternatively put the pump on the other side of that, and no, I couldn't. Actually. So I could not. Oh. And then we need uh, some nice, speedy fluid unloaders. Oh, wait, we don't need any uh, bulk rail unloaders. Which means, uh, which means, we can have the super fast unloader over here. Hmm, I wonder if this is okay. And we don't need a very fast unloader for... Hydrochloric or whatever it was. Hydrogen chloride. But we should have a fast unloader for hydrogen chloride, if only to get out of the way of mineral water. You have mixed water and chloride, have I? Oh, I have two, because it, because it doesn't mirror it. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. There we go. There we go. Cool. So we need like 1.6k per second on each side. I might remove pumps until we find it. It actually has problems. Why is that so slow? It's getting faster. Give me more. It's, it's stuttering, but less and less. Oh my god. Oh, no, this isn't set properly. The, the shift click didn't help it. Let me just copy paste it. What's that? There we, there we go. And we should be able... to 
to see all of these with 100% uptime after a minute. I think? Hmm. It's surprisingly stuttery. Oh, now it seems to be working. Oh, it can't keep up with the output? Really? Wait, what? One, two, three... Hold on. Hold on a minute. 302... You're joking. It's actually double that. Oh, no. I need twice as many belts as this. Oh, no. 320... Uh, 302 divided by 90 is 3.36 belts. We're very bottlenecked on the belts. Output half as fast, yeah. Good grief. Um, can I even... I want to make the most of one beacon, but is it even possible? Hmm. Probably if I move the... the hydrogen chloride out a bit. a little bit more out. Um, so we can pretty much do the same thing more or less. Let's do these ones first. And we want to merge. One purple belt per three of them. And I'm realizing I'm going to need some more belt nonsense down here. But before we worry about that... I'll do basically the same thing here. And... Underground, down to here somewhere. Alright, that actually seems fine. Uh, can we get away with the same on the opposite side? No, but yes. We just have to... Have to move this down a bit. Uh, that doesn't feel right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three. So this one's like down here. And this goes here. That looks weird. All because of the way the height inputs can't be mirrored. Doesn't actually matter how close we put these, but I think I'd rather put them over here. And this one. Over here. Left, not right. The second bottom one on the left does not have an output. Ah, so it doesn't. Thought that felt wrong. So this one goes here. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hate it. I, I hate that this isn't up here and there's no way to make it fit that way. Um, but can the machines at least go full speed if this is consuming? Let's see. So our target is 604 per second. Thirty-six K per minute uh, is six hundred. It looks like that's what we're getting, but they insist on giving us this imprecise measurement. Why not cut the build in half and have them both in the same block? That's fine. We can save this space for something else, or even double it if we're completely insane. Alright, we're going to need some wire connected to the pumps. Because if we connect to the logistic train stop output, we can tell which fluid the train is trying to unload. It'll give a negative one. Cool. So it's only 10 machines, 12 machines. Uh, and it should be, hopefully, more than we'll ever need. Now we just need to input... Do I actually need an 8 to 8 balancer? Oof, owie. Well, it's more like an 8 to 2. And we established that um, it doesn't take as much to do to uh, 4 to 2. Let's see. So basically half need to go to this one and half need to go to this one. So like this, and then, oh, there's going to be one more tile between them. That might actually help. Don't forget the rail is like here. just put these here. That's the rail that we need to build around. So for a second I was thinking this goes like that and this goes like that, but it's not going to be as tidy as all that. Well, maybe that's still the most tidy way we're going to come up with. And we need to send this to here and this to here. So probably just... How close can I put it? That won't work. Just like that. Why not cut the build? Oh, right. Couldn't you use a warehouse as a balancer? The loaders out from the warehouse don't actually balance, unless you saturate, in which case they do. Uh, alternatively... Oh, I think it's going to be more of a spaghetti mess. I think this is going to be the lesser evil. Do 
we even have enough space to do it like this? Probably not. Okay. Uh, certainly not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's forget this part. And this part. And we'll do it... Like we were going to. And that means... We can save at least three tiles like this. Which means we should be able to make it work. Okay. See Daisy. Something like that. It's so hard to tell which way that's facing. There we go. Okay. I guess it doesn't have to be as squished up like this. You can move all of this down a smidge. Actually, I guess that part's not needed. That should make it easier. Why did that just start up? Oh, I think I know why. Alright, so this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. Uh, that might be easier. And then... Like... so? Cool? That's actually not that bad. Why does this guy have no input? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's why. That actually looks pretty neat. I mean, it's a bit squiggly here, but it's belts. What are you going to do? You can save one more tile of height. From here, or from where it was before? Seems fine. Fantastic. Johan Anderson, RV Park, Albion Line, Ohio Soro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. LSF, if I didn't say so earlier. Fifth factory from left side. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Do we even need the max rate of output? I certainly hope not. But we have it. And this should last us to the end of the game. I hope. How fast are we actually making... the lithium chloride? It stacks to 50, right? Yeah, so, uh, 12, 12 stacks per second, <laughs> which means a train would have to pick it up every, uh, eight and a bit seconds. Hum. Maybe, maybe I've overdone it. It's fine. This is fine.
Alright, um, so we're looking for... It's all fine. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, we're looking for primarily mineral water. Since we have to deliver that quite often. You know what? Two, four, six, two. Let's... Let's go for like 8,000. Oh, no. What am I saying? 800,000. And we can fit 250,000 chloride. But we don't consume it nearly as fast. And I'm going to say only long trains can drop this off. I mean, I don't know when a short train would be bringing it anyway. I guess it's fine either way. It's fluid. No kill like overkill? Indeed. Indeedly doodly. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That looks pretty good to me. Let's blueprint it. Lithium chloride. Uh, the modules. Okay, okay, okay. Give me the threes. And show me what kind of rate we're going to have before we have tier 9 modules. I think this would be probably one of the last things I would ever put tier 9s in, except for the prod modules. Um, but yeah, it should be 6 efficiencies. Oh, it's 5. Oh, wait, I'm doing tier 9s again. This should be mostly efficiencies. Minus 70%. Perfect. And what's our rate now? Only 126 per second. It's actually not enough to keep up with our... Um, uh, reagent build that we're upgrading this for. Okay. That'll do for now, though. Blueprint. Um, chloride. Actually, that's chemical plant. Chloride. And advanced. The um, chloride. Train stop names, yes. 86251. Whoop. There we go. That should be it. Where am I going to put it? I should make a book for the advanced builds. Other fluids? Uh, should probably be under that, I guess. Wait, that's not a fluid. What am I saying? Where on earth is lithium chloride? Some kind of production? No? What? I'm lost. Oh, there it is. Basic lithium. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Oh, we found some... Found some more zones, and I don't know where they are because we were in the editor. I don't... I, I didn't look at Lothar yet. Okay. That's too far away. Too small. Um... So let's switch off the input. 
for lithium chloride. I imagine it'll run out pretty quickly. This mineral water is actually in the right place already. So we could probably do some surgery here. Let's head over there. I definitely want to give it a dark background because look at this on the map. Oh god. Oh, oh no. No, please. Rescue me. Concrete train. Why are there so many trains here? Oh, this one's supposed to be there. That's fine. But around... Lithium chloride. Oh, they're picking up sand? Hmm. I wonder... Oh, 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 it's blue belt. Oh, that's the... That's the bottleneck. We can fix that. In fact, we're in range to fix that. Just... Just do all of it. Why leave anything to chance? Oops. That's a lot of mineral water we need to work through, actually. And hydrogen chloride. Um, yeah, this thing's kind of slow. It's very slow compared to what we were just looking at, but then what isn't? Can we upgrade all of this while we're here? Not quite. Okay. Um, could I perhaps pump... Pump this out of the way. Just for the moment. Just Piccadilly's the tanks? Well, the huge storage tanks are not what we're going to be using for the um, hydrogen chloride, but I'm pretty sure the uh, mineral water tanks are already in the right place. Yeah, they pretty much have to be. Do you not have blue belt? Uh, I mean purple belt. You do. You do have purple belt. Where are the bots? I'm guessing they're floating back, otherwise this would... Oh, I don't have undergrounds. Where are me undies? They're right here. Why didn't the train bring them? Or did we ask for too much? Bots be it Smoko? Fair enough. Maybe if I do some more sand builds, even if we don't need them on paper, throughput-wise, um, the trains will have different places to pick the sand up from. Uh, I know where I can find this. There we go. G give me all of it. Are we having trouble making purples? I think I set the target for superior transport belt too low. Considering that we've got a number of buffer chests asking for it. And the trouble with buffer chests is you can have a transfer between them. Uh, and they count towards the logistic limit. A thousand? 
Okay, there's... We're definitely asking for enough purple belt. There's no heavy bearings? No. No, that's not true. That's impossible. Oh, this is a good time to test this idea. So we've got slightly more than 100 stacks of bearings here, which is not triggering a train delivery, because I set the provide stack threshold higher. So that the train wouldn't come and have some of the bearings pushed to the front that it can't pick up at the back anymore. Uh, if we just limit this to just the right amount, it's probably way more of a limit than we need. And set this to provide stack threshold 100. And it's bringing it to the mole. Fantastic. So what are we short on? Iridium plate. Let me just see how this works. First of all. Where's our train? That's pretty decent timing. Uh, no, it's not. It's taking many seconds to finish loading the train. I think we should add like another 15 stacks to this. Of course, if I go over and there's exactly 100 stacks here and a train comes to pick it up, it might end up stuck here for a while until more plate comes. Anyway, um, we are making more plates. How's our rate been? Iridium ingot. It's, ooh, it's very wavy and very consistent. We need, uh, we've got way more production than we need for the ingots themselves. Uh, and it looks like the resources that are like the blast cake is being made consistently. That is also wavy and consistent. Cool, cool. Uh, and what about powder? Also wavy and consistent. <laughs> nice. So what is it? What is the input resource? Crushed iridite. Okay. We've got our core fragments saturated. It might be time to double this over here. Should probably tap the... the mineral water first. Hmm. Hmm. Fine, I'll put it over this way. We can always move it. And may as well have some rail over here while we're at it. Can we fit one of these here? Nope. Over here. Should be fine. Uh, where's our construction train? It's still... Oh, right. That makes sense. We'll get that done first. Put yourself over here as well, just in case. Okay. Are we just about... That's the wrong build. Just about done pumping this away. We are fantastic. We are fantastic. Hi, new here. This grid looks nice, thank you. 
I've currently... where am I going? Currently got a grid on Nalvis, trailing a brick style in orbit at the moment. Oh, trailing. To try and avoid the four-way intersections. Jury is out on if it's worth it yet, as I'm struggling to figure out how to tile it. It's snapping the grid. Yeah, it takes a bit of messing around. Um, Alright, so we can, we can decon this now. Mineral water is so cheap, I'm not even going to worry. I was not expecting the Spanish Concrete Train Inquisition. Um, that's going to need some fixing. Oh my god, the noise. Oh my lord. Okay. 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 Oh, I should have turned this off. I did turn this off. Fantastic. Perfect. And we're not going to eat these anymore. Nice. My inventory is full. Let's try not to waste too much. Delete this in the right order. We're leaving stuff on the ground. Alright. I think we can simply take our blueprint and put it here. For the most part. For the most part. Uh, we're not going to have this second pickup. Although maybe we should. Just limit this to one stack and then push this over here once this one's full. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pick up the items on the ground. Fantastic. Okay, how about we speed this up even more? Much better. Much better. That's all now. Uh, righty, if I didn't say so, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And now we've got another train coming for this. Oh. Uh, there's only one LTN train. It's coming to pick stuff up, so it doesn't have anything. So we can just send it back to the depot. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I'll make an extra station pickup just because we've got a train taking, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 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 we've got a train taking lithium chloride up the space elevator, so maybe it can have its own pickup. No city block, no road reports here? Uh, no, we're not having a giant robot network. It's got its pros and cons, uh, I remember Damsel saying she loves it but she hates it. <laughs> And I, I, I chose isolated robot networks for a couple of reasons. Alright, once more we should be able to put this here. And let's pump in our 
Lithium chloride. I'm out of pipes? No, I'm not. Why, why are there bots reserved somewhere to place these pipes? Whatever, I'll just put them down then. Oh, they're steel pipes. That's why. Alright, uh, we need the construction train again. It's busy. It's still building this. Huh. I guess the long range, that makes complete sense, actually. Hmm, does it have a path over here? It does. Let's grab it. Bring it over this way. And assuming that it can leave after it places this. Yeah, it looks like the roundabout's done. As long as this piece of rail gets built. There's already bots hovering trying to build it. Oh no, we're out of cliff explosives. Oh no, we're out of cliff explosives. Um, I think our train is going to need some intervention to get back home. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, and we're already dropping off copious mineral water. That's nice. Oh, and I forgot. Don't actually want these. Or this. Um, this should face left. This should go here. This should face right. This should not exist. Uh, I think I'll just remove the station for now, actually. And yeah, I'm going to have to go rescue the construction train. Robot networks are great for building, terrible for tearing down, or UPS. Are robot networks that bad for UPS? As in, when they get big, or when there's a lot of stuff in them, or when you've got lots of bots. Like, what's the what's the more important variables? I'm gonna run out of cliff explosives. All of the above, indeed. Get in my belly. Uh, the train did find a way back, but these poor bots did not. I guess I'll wait till it's reloaded. It's going to take a little while because there's a... Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going to find their way back. That's something, at least. They're actually going to beat this guy to it. Most of them. Once the bots finish finding their way back, we'll reset the whole loading system for the last time. And... Do we not have construction bots in here? Oh no. Oh no. I'm seriously considering separating this from the from the mole robot network again. I think I will. Which means I need to find somewhere to squeeze in a drop-off for all of this stuff again. Because the bots just can't keep up with all of this stuff in purple chests. Can I, like... Oh. Oh, it's loading. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to intervene. I mean, it would have sorted itself out eventually, but 
the spiral of not having enough bots in these containers uh, was not looking promising. In fact, why don't I... Why don't I just make sure there's way more than enough bots in here? That hopefully shouldn't happen again. I could also set a timer so that, like, if we empty the train, we wait a little while before trying to refill it. Maybe. Where's my signal for making construction bots? Wherefore art thou... Construction bots, here we go. May as well. Okay, construction train should be... I was going to say it should be loaded. It doesn't have purple belt. What are we looking for down here? Blue belt only? Hmm. Yeah, I'm really not liking how long the bots take. I don't want to chase too many squirrels, I want to get this build up here done. We literally just need some pipes and some advanced chemical plants. Let's get that finished first, and then we'll maybe work on splitting these robo-networks again. One shot, one media kill. Fantastic. Can't beat the efficiency of belts or trains. You mean UPS? I really wish we didn't have to think about UPS so much. Oh, we're out of heavy bearings again. Oh, that's not what I wanted to hear. Maybe I should prioritize it. Yeah, you know what? If, if we're going to be spamming purple belt from now on, then I think this is maybe the first place that Iridium Plate should go. So where's that blast cake? It's coming. Have you seen Dosh's sushi? I have not. Give me more powder. Yes. A good. Just a little bit more. I could go steal... Oh, I know where I could steal from. That's a good idea, actually. I'm gonna go steal from space. Because most resources, we've always got an obscene amount stored in space. Really goes to show how even belts can be wrong. Sounds good to me. And... Where was I going? I honestly can't remember. Oh my god. COVID brain. Help. Help. Oh yeah, I was going to steal Iridium Plate. Or maybe it would probably be a lot more... It would probably be a lot more efficient to steal Iridium Ingots, wouldn't it? Here we go. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Give me all of the iridium I can eat. Some of it's going to get delivered back up here. Unless perhaps I disable it for a moment. I 
kind of wish they would add more belts for SE, like there are for K2. Yeah, the purple belts are really nice. Really, really nice. Let's go over here. Is belt it so UPS optimized for being full instead of the sparsity you needed for sushi? Yeah. Well, sushi doesn't have to be sparse. It can be completely saturated. Like this will be when there's um when there's iridium powder. All right. Me all of this. Fantastic. Now we have some... Oh, wow, that's that's kind of quick. And we should have a train coming. Uh, there we go. LTN is still a lot more responsive than what I was putting up with last playthrough before I tweaked the settings. But it's actually starting to slow down a little bit. And it's going to make girders. What kind of priority did I set for girders? A thousand. Okay, then. I mean, we do need girders anyway to make uh, heavy bearings. But still. It's actually looking pretty saturated already. Like, very saturated. So, the next train... Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of quick when it wants to be. Um, why do I have an inserter here? That was probably left over from the last build, now that I think of it. Cool, so this one is going to make heavy bearings. Cool, cool, cool. How many heavy bearings do we get? Four becomes one if we ignore productivity bonuses. Oh, it's got old beacons. Oh, and old power poles. Well, it takes a long time to update all of our old builds, after all. And when this one's very much bottlenecked on resources still, uh, we don't really have an incentive. I mean, it would give us a bit more UPS. Every single build like this would give us a bit more UPS if we replace it with um, faster buildings. Speaking of which, we're back up to 50. So how fast is this? Less than half a stack per second. So like... About four minutes before we get a train delivering to... Uh, to the mall again? Oh, let me do this thing again. I kind of already did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sushi can be saturated when doing it in small loops. But when your entire base is one mega sushi belt of 32 wide, oh, that's beautiful. It needs space to drop stuff off after processing. Yes, I am a thousand percent on board with this. SEK2 playthrough sushi belts only. No rockets or spaceships or delivery cannons. Wouldn't the biggest UPS recovery now be scrapping windmills? I really, really am skeptical that windmills cause that much UPS drain. Um, like, UPS didn't drop below 60 from windmills. I'm going to get rid of them eventually, but... because just If, if nothing else, because they're... There's such a small fraction of our power. But... I mean, we never felt any UPS drops from when we had about the same number of windmills as we have now. Alright, this thing's ready to go. Let's get this build finished. 
And then back down here. Wouldn't it be because they have animations? That's not very complicated. Unless it's acting like a, an assembly machine and doing some really inefficient nonsense in the background. Like it's constantly processing a recipe or something. Your bottleneck in Factorio is not graphics. It's really, really not graphics. Can you guys help? I am rubbish with circuit networks. How do I tell the network the cargo landing pad is empty and ready for a rocket for takeoff? There's actually something that's implicitly built in. Uh, it doesn't tell you, but if you're... If you're using automatic triggers for cargo rockets to launch, it will not launch unless the landing pad is completely empty. Uh, but one way to do it, if that weren't the case, would be to give it a signal transmitter. Send it to another surface. And then you've got a receiver somewhere. Those are a bit bigger. Uh, and you could just have a combinator that says something like... If everything equals zero, then output something to say that the cargo landing pad is empty. Unless the wind turbines are really inefficient in how they get their random value of how much energy they're producing, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, well, it doesn't actually fluctuate at all for how much power it produces. It's just a constant 20 kilowatts. So I would imagine it should be about the same as a solar panel. If not less. It depends on what the mod author had to hack together to make it work. Um, so is this finished now? I think it is. I should probably bring this over here. Oh, that's very convenient. Thank you. Can I use pickup dollies to rotate this? I cannot. In that case, just cut and paste it. We've already got a bunch of random stuff in that train that I'm going to have to go pick up. So we may as well do this. And don't forget... We need some steel pipe up here. Uh, I should go fly over there. We'll take this stuff away now instead of waiting for the train to take it back. Oh, that's a lot of random stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Not the concrete. Concrete actually belongs here. Not the concrete. Go left to right, that way I'll not make that mistake again. And I think we're good. you go. And I still don't have some steel pipe on me. Let's grab constructor train. Do a quick drive by up here and then get back to trying to build this stuff. It's just constant. Yeah, it should be really efficient. If everything less than one would mean empty, uh, em everything gives, uh, okay, hold on a sec. 
Let's throw down... Well, let's look at a decider combinator somewhere. Everything less than one would mean empty. Output would be red, green, whatever signal of one. Yeah, um, the everything signal and the anything signal can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but if you just stop to read the description, um, it clears it up pretty quickly. It is true when there are no inputs. Uh, it is false when there are no inputs. Those are a couple of things you have to watch out for. Um, but the thing that I didn't know for literally years about the anything signal is you can use it to output just one signal. Actually, I think I can go like, like this. No, it has to be anything, anything. Okay, so if we have a constant combinator with a bunch of stuff on it, the construction bots are taking a shockingly long time to do this. Uh, let's say zero, one, two, three. Uh, it'll take... Uh, it'll look at all of those input signals and just output the first one with an arbitrary signal order according to, like, the, the ID of that signal type. So that way you can pick off just one signal and do something with it. I don't I, I, I don't think I've seen any text anywhere in Factorio that tells you that this is something that can be done. Um, but what can be done is we have a constant flow of lithium chloride. 126 per second, it would appear. Um, 7.6 thousand per minute. Yeah, yeah, it's going full speed, consistently. Nice. Why is the bearing train stuck at the mall? Uh, it's trying to pick up bearings. There probably aren't enough bearings. It was trying to deliver it to... Why was it trying to deliver it over here? You know what? I think I'll limit this to long trains. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we want short trains for this one. Okay. Can we just pretend this never happened? Go here and empty, and then go to depot. Thought it was a drop-off? Uh, nope, it's a pickup. It's a pickup for short trains, for whatever the mall may, may have, but under certain circumstances... I, I'm thinking the bearings got consumed after the request was made. Almost definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I said I was going to have a break, and now we're like less than 20 minutes from finishing. I guess I'll hold. I guess I'll just keep going. This guy was probably already scheduled. We can just let him go. What's this guy doing? More iridium plate. But why are we taking two short trains for Iridium Plate to deliver to the to the high tier module build? Ravna. Yeah, it's going to take a really long time to saturate um, our modules. Like several hundred years, probably. I guess I should go chase some more Iridium. Oh, wait. No, I forgot. That's why we're building this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already had the core fragments, at least for now. And we were not processing them. 
fast enough. Crushed erudite is over here. And then... Can we perhaps finish this build this time? I think we... Apparently we have a terrible shortage of tier 3 prod modules. Well, that doesn't appear to be the case. Are they not getting delivered to the mall? We've got 894. Are we just not carrying enough in the train? That might be it. Well, we should probably hurry up and place them because... Kind of wasting erudite at the moment. I don't think it matters right now where we've got a backlog. Oh, we're not loading the prod modules because we're not loading the purple belt. Just skip the purple belt for now. Did we get all of our belt placed? Yeah, it's blue. No worries there. Okay. I may as well ride with it. Wait for inactivity. And away they go. Hopefully to completely finish the builds. Looks like they did. Yes. Very good. So how much capacity do we have to process Iridium Core Fragments now? I believe it's just these two blocks here. And the old one is waiting to be deconstructed. And that's got the old modules, uh, older uh, beacons. So we can process 96 per second. And how many Iridium outposts do we have? Is it just the one? I think it's just one. No, 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 there's... Strumhurst, right? Was it in Wexivis? No. I believe it was... Kalmea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we've got two planets. Oh yeah, this is the wonky one that won't let us trim the surface all the way for some reason. Like, here's our train network, and this is what we're able to trim it down to. And we actually had mixed results, like trimming it again, we got different results once. Well, that's about it. But how many drills do I have? I've got 18. Oh, it's totally saturated. Uh, Stromhurst can only do 26... 27 core fragments per second. And Gibil... Uh, Gibil might be faster at this point. Uh, it is a smaller planet. How many do we have? We've got 13. Gibil can do 20.8. So that's what, like 50? That means we were barely bottlenecking on... On the core fragment processing, we're definitely going to be working off a backlog now. There's a lighted pylon on it. On Stromhurst, middle, south. Oh, yes. Hog. Stromhurst. Uh, 
Uh, where? Does it show a little blue square if it's um if it's like not connected? Yeah, it does. So where is this lighted pylon? I don't remember going this far south with the uh, laser artillery turret creep. I guess I could do an entity search. Are you sure it wasn't a... a Corsi? Middle south next to a tiny patch of rare metal. Next to a tiny patch of rare... metal... Not this one? <gasps> I've found you. Okay. Okay, we're going. We're going to Stromhurst. Where's my... Where's my ride? Use decon planner to search it? I could have used a uh, factory search as well. Let's do that. Alright, up we go to our spaceship. Zetius? Uh, Kimi? Ego, if I didn't say so earlier. Welcome in, hope you're doing well. I think I said hello to Ego. Or am I mixing days again? Alright. Back to the space mall we go. How's our power plant? It is chillin', or rather exactly the opposite. It's nice and toasty. Alright, so do we go straight to Stromhurst? I think we do. Yeah, it's seven minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Did say hello to Ego, thank you. Alright, um, what should we do while we're traveling? Fixing that power pole is going to be the last thing we do today, and that's going to be kind of a nice, a nice sign off. Do we have another outpost we could go to for Iridite? Or should I just beef up Stromhurst? Uh, we're kind of already a bit deep into diminishing returns. We've got 18 core drills. So each drill is only going to add like one... Uh, one-ish core fragment per second. Oh, we're already down to 0.9 for one drill. Yeah, I think uh, I think we've got enough drills on Stromhurst. And we'd have to cover more and more area. For less and less Iridite. I think we should look for a new uh, Iridite outpost. What do we got? Let's search it from Hagen Orbit. So we can tell... Um, how far away it is. And we've got actually quite a few erudite options, but are any of them any good? None of the large planets are particularly close to the interstellar map, unfortunately. At this point, I would probably go for Renoto. Um, it's moderately far from the sun. And it's a 9k radius planet, so the spaceships would have to travel a little bit further. It's in the Statarius system. It's over here. Uh, Renato. Yeah, the spaceships would have, have to travel significantly further, but it's not that bad. It's not quite as bad as it gets anyway. Uh, but we would get a lot of erudite for a small area. 
Alternatively, there's Bloodthorn, which is 6k radius at 52% solar in the Electra system. That's maybe a bit more reasonable for our ships. Alternati uh, alternatively, alternatively, we could do some targeted zone discovery for... Where is it? Zone discovery for Iridite. Uh, I guess Fanto is a little bit more in the same direction. Closer to the interstellar map, but not quite as good for four fragments per second. We don't have any more iridite core fragment moons that are close. So all of these big planets that we're considering are actually going to be closer. Well, not all of them. If we went to Vorlon, it'd be a shorter trip for the spaceship, but 2k radius planet is kind of wasting our time. What's the best way to protect new planets from meteors? Um, do you mean media defenses? Well, there's the global ones or the local ones. It depends what kind of outpost you're making. Uh, I like the global ones for the builds that I'm using for this playthrough, just because I can just... They're, they're, they're very power expensive, but I can just run them up here in space. Uh, and I don't have to worry about what area I've got covered on the ground. But if you have a very small outpost, like for mining uh, Naquium, then an argument can definitely be made for the point defense ones. Did you sort higher prod mods in your research tabs? What do you mean by that? Sort higher prod mods in your research, research tabs. Oh, in the labs. Yes, yes I did. I can't believe I misread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all tier 6 prod modules. It's making it go a little slow. I should have put the... Oh, we're probably sucking a lot more power as well. We're still okay for power, though. Um, but yeah, I should have updated the beacon itself. But yeah, that's one reason why it's a little bit slower. So what's the difference? Um, Prod 6 is... 14% productivity bonus, and prod 3 is 8%, so almost double, almost double the productivity bonus. Protect new planets, why protect something that barely has anything to hit? Because it might get hit. Do space global media defenses protect the planet too? Yes, yes. I think they didn't used to. We found Keto Bar. I think they didn't used to, but an update during like my last playthrough, um, they made it so that global media defenses work for both the planet and the surface, regardless of which one it's on. Hello. Hold on. Let's look at this from Nalvis Orbit. I mean, Hagen Orbit. 30k distance, that's just a little bit too far. If it was like 6,000 closer, then it would probably be... Well, I don't know the exact numbers, it depends. But when we travel to Foenestra, it's 10k to get there, and then 10k to go back. Um, and then a little bit more distance for traveling within the solar systems. If this was like 2,500, then this might have been worth visiting. Because we could go there directly. But, alas. Used to be just surface-based, indeed. Did you not get meteors in space? I think we did. I don't know. 
few minutes till we're at Stromhurst. Oh, I forgot it. I forgot about time dilation because EPS. Well, we're definitely going to fix this before we finish the stream. Um, hopefully we can find one more. One more outpost candidate as well. So how's our rate for Iridium? No doubt it's gone up a bit. Uh, I think it's, you, you can see it's trending upward a little bit, but it's definitely not as dramatic as expected. But this is, this is in one of our blocks that is far faster than it needs to be right now. Let's look at Iridium Powder. That's a better indicator. I th Holy crap. Yeah, that's an improvement. Uh, that's a big improvement. Do you mean to tell me that it's saturated? Like, we've always got crushed iridite coming in? How fast does it want crushed iridite? 47 per second. And these two blocks... And definitely supply that. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna have... We're gonna have quite a bit more iridite coming through for a while. And I'd definitely try, like to try to make that permanent uh, in the near future. It's probably not so much fuel, rather time. Yes, it's time. Um, like, traveling via Foenestra with 40k Iron Stream. We can go wherever we want. It's no issue whatsoever. Verbena. Uh, it's definitely time. I, I want to make this spaceship's journeys shorter. Even when we do have the antimatter ships, I would prefer to just, just limit the amount of time the spaceships spend flying. They are quite UPS costly. Um, Alright, so Ver Verbena. What do we got? 104% solar. Moderate radius. Oh man. It's in the calamity system. Where's the calamity system? Oh, the calamity. Where for? It's over here. Which one was it? Verbena. Yeah, it's kind of... It's pretty close to the sun. This right here is a lot more than you would think it is as a fraction of the spaceship's journey. Yep. That's exactly it, Sir JMO. And that's one of the reasons that I did the dispatch system for the spaceships. Although, if I'm completely honest, it's mainly because it's cool. Horizon numero uno. Where is this thing? There it is. I need to go right a little bit. Oh, it's, it's, it's a while. Down we go. And we need to fly back up. Before we trim the surface. Now I suspect there's something else like that out here, maybe out here. Let's see what we get. Doop-a-doop. -doop. 
found another moon. It's called Manelscott. Oops. Uh, it's too far and it's too small. Okie dokie. Alright, let's trim surface. Stromhurst. And... That is far less of an improvement than I was expecting. I can run a decon planner over it, but I'm pretty sure it's only going to show st That's cliff explosives. Um... I'm pretty sure it's only going to sh... Why is it showing stone? What is it trying to... De... Don't tell me it's because there's stone on the floor. No. Okay. 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 There's stone on the floor here. Let's go get it. Surely it wouldn't... Refuse to trim because there's stone on the ground. Right. 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 The thing is, there could be stone all over the place. Trim surface. That didn't take very long. Yeah, I don't know. So if I see other, anything other than these two... The trouble is... I'm pretty sure it's only checking the lit up areas. Like, it didn't look up here. When I just dragged that box. I could do an entity search. Like, if I knew it was power poles... I guess we can try. That would be the most likely thing. Lighted... Oh, there's so many. If there's a lone one, then that's a pretty big hint. I don't really have a button to, like, cycle through them or anything. I guess, mild epilepsy warning? Hello. That wouldn't make a difference. But I can go and get it anyway. Let's add a tag. It's actually kind of hard to see. Um, alert 3. It's a bit better. I did check these ones, right? Yes. Okay, so we found one orphaned power pole. It looks like. Two of them? Okay, that one matters. And that one probably doesn't matter. Wait, what? And this one probably doesn't matter. This one definitely matters. Okay. And this one? <gasps> that still doesn't explain 
how it goes so far down south, but that might actually make a pretty big difference. Let's get him. Okay, where are we right now? Should go get this one first. Not gonna run out of rocket fuel, am I? No, probably not. Why are there so many random power calls? Because I was doing turret creep with laser artillery. Because that's the best I had at the time. We also found some moons, uh, or a moon, Selamene. It is... too far too small, as almost every moon is. Maybe I should put more jetpacks on. I'm not going to run out of fuel, am I? No, nope, I've got fuel processor. What did? What else did we just pick up there? All right, and then there's one. There's like two over here and one over here, and then one way over here. Yet a moon. That is bad. Okay. That's a rock. Fair enough. Can I have some more jetpack? Not really. This is about as good as it gets with this. Ooh, can I make a better thruster suit? What, what am I on? Tier 2? First suit Mark III. Oh, we can. Oh, I'm upgrading my thruster suit next time. Fantastic. Can you show stuff that has no power to locate it? I don't think so. Immo, welcome in. Seems like you don't have the technology. For the tier 3 thruster suit? I do though. I just need catalog 3 of each type. Oh, that's actually only... That's tier 1. And these two are tier 3. I could have done that ages ago. Oh no. What does it take for a tier 4? Some stuff we don't have. Never mind. Including deep space science. I was kind of expecting that. You win this round, Spicy Rocks. Okay. Yoink and yoink. And then... I'm not as worried about the one over here. Let's go get the one on the left. Does not, but he does have the lab, so he could probably research it in like five minutes. But I do have the technology. I, I already have it. I do. I'm only missing tier four for all of the, uh, the colored space sciences. Almost there. But did you have the suit researched? Oh. Uh. Yes, I think. Thrust uh, suit. Huh. No, I don't. Okay. Oh, I need to research this anyway. Let's get it. Oh, I went past it.
Okay, so let's get back to civilization. We found path. Let's do that real quick. Path is... Garbage. Okay, good to know. How did that power pole get there? Because I was doing a laser turret creep with laser artillery. Don't forget to remove the label. Indeed. Good call. I need to get back here as quickly as po Oh wow, that's convenient. I wasn't even trying for this. I just ran straight into this power pole. Perfect. Alright, trim surface. How much better is it going to be? View surface. That's an improvement. There's still something out here. So You're joking. Okay, fine. We'll go get it. And there's also something down here somewhere. Apparently. Don't know what it could be. Get them! Raus! Raus! <laughs> get them? Alrighty then. Yeah, laser artillery is pretty cool. It's, um... Like, you have better options in space exploration, but... In a regular game of Crastorio 2, like... Vanilla plus Crastorio 2 plus whatever. Not SE. Uh, laser artillery would probably be one of my favorite things. It is extremely thirsty. And I mean... Really, really thirsty. It's already much better. Yeah, it is. That save file's getting smaller. I should probably check on those planets that I'm clearing as well. Well, I know Nalvis won't be cleared yet. Here we go. This one? No, this one. Uh, I should probably start scanning it because... We want to aim the... The space laser at it. In K2 you have no problems with power? I could believe that. Yeah, the uh, the regular nuclear plants were such a pleasure to build compared to vanilla. Not struggling against the bottleneck of heat pipes the whole time, where you can't calculate um, what the actual limit is. Doop a doop, hawk hawk hika. Uh, that's too far. That's too small. And that's too close to the sun. Good good talk. Alright, Stromhurst. Trim surface. And that's much better. It's not perfect yet, obviously. But that's going to be a much smaller footprint than I'll save. Speaking of which... Tommy Palasi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see who's playing Factorio. Tomorrow I'll be playing a bit more Merc 5 on stream, just to chill out. And the plan is, uh, if nothing bad happens, Thursday. That's uh, one, two, three days from now, in case we're not on the same... In case I'm in the future, which is very likely for most people. Uh, I'm going to be maybe doing the old Kerbal Space Program with... Uh, what is it called? Kerbal Operating System. Looking forward to getting into that again. And sa sating my craving for Kerbal Space Program until KSP2 is actually any good. Fingers crossed. 
That is quite a large save, indeed. Guy clicking, welcome in. All right, uh, let's say hello to Ol Herland today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Cool, fantastic, indeed. Hello and bye. See you next time, guy clicking. And everyone else, take care as well. Take care, Evil Claw. Where's the elevator? It's up here. Alright, off we go. Each sub, it was one boat, and it ended up on silver. So tomorrow, we're gonna try and get to silver. Plan. That is the plan. <gasps>